scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. 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 First Corinthians chapter 2. If we can read it, it's a long reading, but let's use Amplified. Paul began to teach something very powerful, and I want us to look. very closely verse 1 it says as for myself brethren when I came to you were using amplified I did not come proclaiming to you the testimony and evidence or mystery and secret of God concerning what he has done through Christ for the salvation of men in lofty words or human philosophy and wisdom there are 16 verses we are reading everything for I resolved to know nothing, to be acquainted with nothing, to make display of the knowledge of nothing, you know, among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Now, Paul begins by saying, look, when I came, my goal was to present to you Christ crucified and then to buttress on the significance of what that should mean to your life. So he said, I have many things. What he's trying to say here is that, look, I'm a Pharisee. I'm not dull. There are many other things I can tell you. But I have limited the scope of my communication to you. To reveal Christ and him crucified. I could tell you about all that things. But when I came to you, I have an option to teach you other things. But for some reason, my goal is to be able to present to you Christ crucified and then to be able to help you understand the full import the gravity of what his crucifixion can bring are you understanding what he's saying here now and so he's saying and i was you know fear trembling and so on and so forth verse four sorry amplified opens it up so i will jump some things now verse four says and my language and my message were not set forth in persuasive enticing and plausible words of wisdom but they were in the demonstration of the holy spirit and power now 
don't miss the context the context is christ crucified he says the theme of my communication is christ crucified so every other thing that follows from this explanation is predicated upon that foundation christ when i came to you my message started with christ crucified so every other thing that i'm going to reveal to you is connected to this foundation of christ crucified are we following now so that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men human philosophy but in the power of god verse 6 it says yet when we were among the full grown you know king james says that we speak this wisdom give us give us king james and then we'll run to amplify it to see verse 6 we'll, we'll just play around with it it says how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect or mature now so look at his progression the apostle starts by saying look ladies and gentlemen when i came to you i had an option to begin to teach you other things to teach you the 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 to display the fruits of my intelligence i'm a pharisee i'm a doctor of the law i'm a learned colleague but i chose to limit myself to present to you christ crucified and then he begins to say that i have done this because i don't want you to just brag about intelligence i want your life to be limited to this reality alongside the blessings that come from it are we together now then he is now switching and saying look that we speak wisdom so he has moved to the subject of wisdom now christ crucified and then wisdom yet not the wisdom of this world nor of the princes of this world that come to naught verse 7 it says but we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery now look very carefully don't assume you understand what he's saying we speak the wisdom of god but is communicated in a mystery christ crucified the foundation of my teaching when i came to you i came to teach you something about easter but i'm more concerned i have other options but i have noticed a lapse in your life and there is a dimension i want you to come into at is tied to the revelation of christ crucified alongside the benefits that comes from it and then he says that we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery then he says even the hidden wisdom let's see what amplified says about it seven amplified but rather what we are setting forth is the wisdom of god once hidden from the human understanding and now revealed to us by god it says that wisdom which god devised and decreed before the ages for our glory amplified says our glorification let's go back to king james so the bible says seven please and king james i'm, I'm explaining something just walk with me media verse 7 and king james but we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery listen carefully it says which god ordained for our what so christ crucified we see the cross there is a revelation from there and part of the benefits that come from there is an ability of the spirit to access what the bible calls the hidden wisdom and it says whoever can, can access this that god preserved it that it is this formula that will be responsible for the glorification of the saints that this hidden wisdom whatever it is has a part to play in our revealing the glory of god that god himself ordained it before the foundations of the world for our glory verse 8 which none of the princes of this world knew for had they known it now he connects it back again for had they known it they would not have crucified so if they did not crucify there would not be the issue of the cross and there will not be access to this hidden wisdom that has to do with our glorification verse 9 but as it is written i had not seen nor ear heard this is in context of that same wisdom 
are we together now when you're studying scripture make sure you keep following the line don't just speak a scripture and delve he's communicating something here i have not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which god had prepared for them that love him verse 10 now we see the holy spirit introduced into the equation the bible says but god had revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searcheth all things yea the the bible calls the hidden wisdom of god the deep things of god not the things of god the deep things of god so he starts by saying i came to you and i present to you christ crucified that if you understand the mystery of christ crucified alongside the benefits one of the benefits if you are well taught one of the things you should be taught is that the implication of his crucifixion now has brought you to a realm where you can access what the bible calls the hidden wisdom of god so christ did not just die just to give us eternal life alone yes ultimately but that there are there are certain implications of his death and one of them tied to his crucifixion are we together now is the ability to access what the bible calls the hidden wisdom of god and the bible says that hidden wisdom was prepared by god himself that at a point in the church age man will buy a technology called a mystery remember he said we speak this wisdom the goal is for you to access it but between you and that wisdom is a mystery you must understand it is not the wisdom that is the mystery the mystery is the name of the technology that transfers that mystery that wisdom from god to you he said we speak it in a mystery i go to sabo in a vehicle the vehicle is not me the goal is to take me to sabo but the means of transportation is called a vehicle the means of accessing this wisdom the bible says is a mystery so we are going to find out what this mystery is tonight and the bible says whoever finds that mystery will access the wisdom of god and the result of that encounter is glory glory that the saints in light don't just become glorified just because they want to on account of the death of jesus christ there is something that his death granted unto us are we together now and the bible says that if you find out one of those things that the death of jesus christ provided for you the hidden wisdom of god that is accessed through a mystery i stop because remember paul is teaching here and then paul now begins to introduce the person of the holy spirit as the searcher of the wisdom of god but he said my my point now let's leave the holy spirit issue we're coming there what is the mystery that communicates this thing that the bible calls the deep things the deep things what are they because whoever can access these deep things the bible calls them the hidden wisdom that not even the men of the world nor the princes knew if if they had known that the goal of jesus's death among other things was to grant us access to that mystery so that we will be glorified he said they would have made sure the lord of glory did not die are we together Galatians chapter 3 we're coming back here Galatians chapter 3 please give us from verse 10 you will be so blessed tonight my prayer for you is that the things you are going to learn you will so understand them and they will produce strange victory in your life in the name of jesus christ for as many as are of the works of the law are under the cause for it is written cost is everyone that continued not in the things that are written in the book of the law read on next verse please 
but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of god it is evident for the just shall live by faith 12. it says and the law is not of faith but that man but the man that doeth them shall live in them 13. then it says christ hath redeemed us from the cause of the law and it tells us how he did that it says being made a cause for it is written cause is everyone that hangs on a tree we see the cross back again are we together now remember paul said christ crucified christ crucified that's his message when i came to you i looked at a lapse in your life that the foundation to remedy that lapse is a revelation of christ crucified and the full import of what the crucifixion does to you but i'm choosing an aspect of it that you can access the deep things of God on the strength of this revelation of Christ crucified and on the strength of those deep things you can manifest glory the Bible says that the blessing of Abraham I've taught you the blessing of Abraham is not cars not money the blessing of Abraham is not even what we call the blessing the blessing of Abraham is what the Bible calls justification by faith that's the blessing of Abraham the Bible says Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness so we like faithful Abraham we believe God and then we are justified by believing him that the blessing of Abraham justification by faith might come upon the Gentiles through Jesus Christ and notice this he says that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith so all of this journey is to make sure that even when we are justified that's not the end of it that we get to a point where we may receive the promise of the spirit there is something about a technology that transfers the spirit into a man and the bible says it was because christ became a curse on the cross are we together now and then we believe in that substitutionary sacrifice like we call it and the implication is that we are justified by faith what does that mean we are declared not guilty we are declared blameless having the righteousness of god the righteousness of god is his very nature are we together on account of that righteousness the bible now declares that the spirit of god can come upon us we receive the promise of the spirit through faith then it stops there paul now is trying to explain to the people when the holy spirit comes what does he do when the holy spirit comes what is the implication if there was no cross there would not be death if there was no death there would not be burial there would not be resurrection there would not be exaltation justification and that meant that there would be no access to receive the life of god there would be no access to receive justification and ultimately we will not be able to access the person of the holy spirit the final journey was to make sure that every man can become a host of the spirit of god and the bible says if satan had known that that death was a string leading from one place they will make sure that the process did not even start are you getting what paul is teaching them now had they known that the whole goal was not to punish a man but to use a man like a scapegoat and transfer the spirit of god in man he said they would insist that jesus did not die are we together let's go back to our scripture first corinthians chapter 2 okay just leave us stand there but god hath revealed them to us by his spirit are you seeing now so he has revealed them to us by his spirit we have accessed that spirit and so we have capacity to receive revelation from him and then he says something interesting he says for the spirit which spirit the same spirit we have received he's telling us certain things the spirit can do and one of it is that the spirit can search all things the deep things of god now we are investigating how to arrive there the bible tells us where the deep things are stored we're going to see it closely it says the deep things of god then he now digresses to explain something he said for what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of that man which is in him even so the things of god knoweth no man but the spirit are we together now so we know that the only person 
who can access whatever it is in God is the Spirit of God. You cannot receive anything from God without the Spirit helping you. Do we agree? Next verse. Now we have received. Say, I have received. It says, not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God. Why did we receive Him? It says that we may know that we may not just that we may feel spiritual that the spirit among other things is resident in us that we may know the things that are freely given did you hear the bible says god prepared certain things to be given to the saints for our glorification go back please to verse just go back to verse um, five now I believe from where we talk about the mystery it says okay verse 3 I think it's verse 3 um, okay 6 6 6 I think it should be 6 how be it thank you we speak the wisdom of God among them that are perfect the word perfect is matured yet not the wisdom of this world not the prince of this world that come to naught verse 7 but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery so this wisdom is spoken but it is spoken in a mystery a mystery that God ordained are we together and the Bible lets us know that by that mystery we can access everything that is given to us there is a spiritual system for accessing the deep things of god listen if you understand what i teach you tonight you will know from where strange and unusual songs come from if you understand what i teach you tonight you will know where strange ideas and supernatural solutions come from the bible tells you that in as a result of the death of Christ that you can access the mind not just the mind of Christ the mind of the father that resident there is the hidden wisdom called the deep things of God he says whoever can find it the Holy Spirit brings it to you but there is a mystery you must engage listen the Holy Spirit is many things one of what he is is a searcher but he does not just search until the mystery is engaged there is a mystery that you engage he no longer becomes a comforter he no longer becomes a he starts to search there is something that can be done on earth that switches the ministry of the spirit to go to the mind of the father and start searching the deep things and bring it to you and he says if you find it your life will spell glory Paul is teaching them. Paul looked at their lives and said, no, everything I see happening to you should happens to human beings. I don't see you accessing realities from another realm. He said, let me teach you something. I, I wanted to teach you a lot of things, but I see there is no glory in your life. Let's start the lecture. The foundation is Christ crucified. That when Jesus Christ hung on that cross, the implication of everything that happened at Calvary was to the end that we be justified, comma, to the end that we receive the spirit. Because no man knows what is in the heart of the man except that spirit. So the father allowed his spirit who knows what is in his heart to be domiciled in every believer. But the Bible says that the spirit of God is many things. He's a counselor, he's an advocate, but there is a mystery that can be engaged that will make the spirit to leave whatever he's doing and start searching the mind of the father and bring to the saints something called the deep things. He said the hidden wisdom and says God prepared it for my glorification. Many people have taught that this mystery is just to blast in tongues. And once you blast in tongues, the Holy Spirit starts searching. How many times have you prayed in tongues in your life? And you have seen that you prayed and prayed and prayed and nothing happened. But we speak this mystery. 
when we come to those who are matured and we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery do you know what Paul is saying he's saying I am when I come to matured believers I know that I cannot teach them peripheral things I have to teach them the deep things of God but when I come to them I engage this mystery and the Spirit of God starts to download deep things and it is those deep things I give them when I come to those who are matured he says we speak this miss this wisdom to them but in a mystery a mystery that only the Holy Ghost can deliver unto men listen I show you a secret tonight that is the secret of depth eternally there's no such thing as being bankrupt you will find this you apply this in your life in your business you will come up with things that will shock men everybody will know that this one this one cannot be from the earth realm it's not the wisdom of men so you can't learn it in school it's not the wisdom of the princes of this world so no elder can advise you into it this one is only available it was taught in the mind of God himself and only the spirit can access the mind of Christ but your own assignment is to find out what the mystery is the Bible says anytime that mystery is engaged the Holy Ghost starts to search There is a spiritual system for accessing deep hidden revelations there is a spiritual system for accessing strategies there are people on earth who have found this secret and their life becomes an unending wonder it looks like there is a fountain within them they have learned how to tap into an ability that is higher and greater than their age their level their education their everything this is what I want to teach you if you have this I can tell you happy Easter if you don't have this we can rejoice for nothing and eat and go back and there is no glory in our lives there is a relationship between the sufferings of Christ and the glory that follows the sufferings of Christ and the glory that follows the sufferings of Christ culminated in his crucifixion it didn't start in his crucifixion the sufferings of Christ started right from his passion at Gethsemane I hope you know that at Gethsemane that's where Christ became the second Adam because two things happened to Adam in the Garden of Eden first Adam lost what we call righteousness right the nature of God he lost it he still had the likeness of God but he lost the image the Holy Spirit he lost so if Christ were to be the second Adam he would have to lose those two things too are we together now yes and the only condition for Christ to lose righteousness is to become sin and he became sin through what we call in theology the doctrine of interpenetration that's what the communion is the mystery that two people become one a Jimmy and his wife now as far as God is concerned are one she has her own body he has his body but in the realm of the spirit they are one whatever accesses him can access her without permission if he agrees she will pay for it because they have become one are we are we together now and the bible says that when that communion was broken remember i think i've taught this many times in this place that the reason why there were 12 men you see do you know why it was only men in 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 um in, in the upper room that's where they had the communion they were men because men are the carriers of the seeds and sin is transferred through reproduction are we together now women don't carry the seeds women only receive the seed and give birth to another life so the men there were standing 12 of them in number 12 is the number of government so they were there it was the whole world prophetically entering into that covenant where man can now Christ can now take up the nature of man that's why he said if you eat my flesh and drink my blood you have your life so he broke himself and said eat and it gave access for him to carry the whole nature of man watch this then he went to Gethsemane and he began to cry he said father if it be thy will let this cup pass what cup the cup was not death the cup was the Holy Spirit leaving him because the moment the Holy Spirit leaves him he cannot be in touch with heaven again remember the connect of the mind 
remember it is the spirit when he said Eloi Eloi Lamak Sabachthani did the father reply because that which is flesh is flesh that which is spirit is spirit the Holy Spirit was not with Jesus on the cross if he was with Jesus the nails would not enter his hands he had to leave Jesus that was where the cry was happening for the first time the Trinity will be separated and he said can this cup this cup of disunion can it pass off me he said but it has to happen nevertheless not my will but yours be done that was the reason why when they held him from that time everything that happened to him was happening to Adam and whoever came from Adam you see that now then when he was hung on that cross the Bible tells us that you know the nails and everything and he stood there and listen to what he said he said father into thy hands I commend my spirit Jesus now went to hell I hope you know that Jesus went to hell to fight Satan not with the assistance of the Holy Spirit he went as man Adam to hell the Holy Ghost was not there no it was not there at all you see that if the Holy Ghost was there Jesus would not be able to go where he's going are we together now and he stood there defeated Satan collected the keys and then on the third day that same spirit that had left him now came back if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead the Bible says if that same spirit dwells now today in your mortal body it would do certain things I'm just giving us a little you know just play with our minds a little let's go back to what we are discussing he said that there is a mystery that activates the Holy Spirit searching the deep things of God and revealing it to us and he says tied to it is our glorification among the many things listen carefully among the many things that this mystery can bring is to transport the superior wisdom of God and to reveal them to man through the spirit that part of the blessings of the crucifixion of Christ and the import of redemption is the ability to engage a mystery that causes the Holy Spirit to search the deep things of God and reveals to man the mystery that controls creativity the mystery that controls innovation the mystery that controls divine strategy the mystery that controls supernatural solutions the mystery that can stir up every dormant gifting and ability in man the hidden mystery let's discuss the technology of activating this mystery Jesus number one write this down the first thing I want you to note is that the mind of God is a compendium of infinite wisdom write it down the mind of God God has a mind the Bible says that the spirit can search everything in the mind of God even the deep things so write it down that God's mind God himself his mind is full of infinite wisdom number two whatever this mystery is we know that it is engaged by speaking write it down we're establishing something now please just help those under the anointing let's be sensitive i believe that god will be giving a lot of impartations the mystery is engaged by speaking so we know that for the activation of this mystery your mouth has a role to play now listen very carefully number three you see this thing we call speaking in tongues look at me everybody look at me we have missed a lot in it those who taught us speaking in tongues taught us that every time you open your mouth you are doing the same thing speaking in tongues has dimensions and all those dimensions have allocations in the spirit for what they achieve just because it looks like you are doing the same thing so you think every time you are speaking in tongues 
these mysteries activated by speaking there is the speaking in tongues that is for intercession there is the speaking in tongues that is engaging the mystery that makes the spirit of god to start searching the deep things of god it's not just that because you open your mouth you are praying i'm going to guide you you will understand what i'm saying shortly it is the mystery of speaking in an unknown tongue listen but the goal is not intercession nor supplication the goal is a system of reception that speaking in tongues is not only an instrument for intercession there is a dimension of tongues that you speak to receive you receive things in the spirit by engaging that mystery not just interceding for sinners not just praying there is a dimension of the hidden wisdom of God that every time you begin to utter tongues with that revelation and with that consciousness the Holy Spirit does not just come as an intercessor it's a message you are sending to the spirit that I am in need of a mystery and the Holy Spirit says I get the message you are saying there is a way you can pray that he knows I'm interceding for a sinner. He joins you. There is a way you can pray but that there is a tongue you can utter from the earth. That is a message to the Holy Ghost. I am stranded. I need something for my glory. And he goes and starts to search. Most of us think every time we pray in tongues because it sounds the same. You think you are saying the same thing. those who have taught praying in tongues have only taught it with respect to accessing spiritual power like okay power if you want power just pray in tongues or if you want to feel like you're a prayer warrior there are all kinds of dimensions the same electricity powers a keyboard the same electricity powers fan the same electricity but there is a way you can channel it there is a dimension of tongues that is not for intercession it is a dimension the moment you utter it the spirit of god goes to the mind of the father that the end of that tongues is a revelation of something you did not know before you started praying that tongues cannot stop with you say amen and you go back no way no way mm -mm. you don't just pray and finish the one you are praying when you pray just say thank you jesus lord i give you all the glory because you were interceding and you were building up your spirit man but that when you engage these tongues something must leave god and manifest physically you can hold it and say this is the answer i give you thanks then the secret was revealed to daniel a king came and said tell me my dream and the interpretation otherwise i would destroy you daniel showed us i don't know what daniel did in the night he said king there is no man that can know this thing no he said but wait before you kill us give me time in the night when others will help that lady please in the night when i don't know what daniel did but all i know is that daniel tapped into a frequency in the spirit and daniel received this let me tell you this listen very carefully i know this because there was a prayer daniel was praying that made gabriel to come to earth not to fight but to bring a message it's in your bible he was praying a prayer many people say that no it was not a it was not just a prayer of warfare a gabriel said i am sent something about your prayer called heaven i am come with the answer understanding and the bible says this mystery god ordained it for our glory daniel was an ordinary man these saints in the bible were ordinary people it is these mysteries that turn them to become like gods upon the earth what kind of men are these they want to kill somebody and a human being with flesh and blood says give me time he goes to the secret place and says king i have your answer and the king looked at him the dreamer forgot his dream the dreamer forgot his dream and someone went to bed and all of a sudden came back this one is not word of knowledge oh this is a download of a strategy word of knowledge gives you in part this one comes to give you an information 
imagine what that would do to your life imagine that you can tap let me tell you listen without this strategy you will never move forward in life you will get to points where you will stay grounded nothing on earth has the capacity to move you and the spirit of god just stands oh i'm born again ba, 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 ba. you can pray for three hours and intercede for everybody and the holy ghost will say if you know this is what apostle paul that guy was a dangerous guy that paul you see paul came and saw the believers and knew what was wrong he knew what was wrong with their spiritual life you guys are zealous you guys pray all the time but there's something you don't have let me teach you remember they were filled with the holy ghost already what he did in chapter 12 14 was to explain to them but paul saw that they were not maximizing certain things he said let me teach you you see all these mysteries i share let me show you how they come this is paul teaching now paul says i am ordinary some of the apostles knew jesus before me but i was taught this mystery and every time i engage it it was while paul was doing this that the holy ghost brought him a mystery he said church let me arrange the gifts of the spirit now in a way that will profit the body that's not normal you don't do that by education let me tell you there are things god has brought to me by this truth you see ba, when the truth of scripture comes to you from heaven you may not be able to share everything but there are truths some of this system of operating in the anointing this is how they came a visitation son this is how this thing works if you understand what i'm saying brothers and sisters the next time you go to pray many of you will have some of you have done it unconsciously that's why you see people come to testify i went to bed and i had a visitation no nobody just comes they are called they may use the face of a man they may god had mercy on you you just knew you were praying something about your prayer called heaven listen read your bible and see men who called heaven some did not get an answer some got an answer the bible calls it a mystery how could god leave men on earth without an assistance do you think god knows god does not know that you need to prosper do you think god does not know imagine the sicknesses in this world do you not know that even the anointing most of us are stranded we don't even know how to use it effectively it is the holy ghost that comes look at jesus jesus saw a man and knew that the only thing that will heal this man is to spit on the ground he never repeated it again a mystery that came look at how joshua he was divine strategies that gave people victory in the bible none of those strategies were repeated again they happen just once they, they how can a man look and say i will go over a, a jericho seven times knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and can look at that gentleman who gave a testimony he had it's a it's a true testimony i got i got it too he broke his I, I i don't know whether he broke his teeth or i think they were supposed to remove four of his teeth or something an accident and then something else happened to him and the gentle i don't know what he did though but the gentleman said he went to bed and all of a sudden a revelation comes and he gets up and he's gone nothing just happens like that it's not true there is a dimension of god's glory that will never manifest in our lives for as long as all you think will bring you glory and greatness in life is just certificate or wisdom from age or just searching google how to be rich enter how to do business enter how to be a good wife enter for as long as that's what you are doing that's sophia the wisdom of men there is a superior dimension most of us know it but you think it just comes just by looking at the bible alone no there is a dimension where you can call for the assistance of heaven there are certain things let me tell you 
God taught me about the anointing he taught me not by saying he taught me by imparting that knowledge I can't teach it because it was not through words it's, it's a lecture but it came like a software see what makes men unusual is the mysteries that upgrade their lives not their skin not their body when you see an ordinary person and you see a dimension of result that is not human go back and ask either a witch or a wizard appear to that person or something must have happened in the realm of the spirit hmm. are we together that you can go back and look at your family and they can say what is special about the easter and he said lord there has to be an answer to what is happening in this family are you not seeing the way our families are how many of you have seen that the solution cannot come from it the deep things of god there are pastors stranded in ministry look at the foolish instructions people do to rise in life it does not sound human but because it came from the mind of God, it produces strange results. Go around the city seven times. Because it came to a man. He went round and the city collapsed. Are we blessed? I'm sharing with you a reality that I've worked in myself. Stupid things. But came. I know how to call for help from heaven if you don't know in this wicked world the devil will eat you up and spit out your bones it's not every tongue that is just for building up your spirit there is a dimension of praying in tongues that is a cry of mercy in the realm of the spirit I need assistance oh God I am stranded except you help from heaven I cannot do anything and all of a sudden an emissary is sent from the realm of the spirit and comes to deliver as desired. Paul said, the hidden wisdom that God ordained for our glory. Are you getting blessed? Now let's continue. Let me show you something. Go to verse 10. Verse 10. Please sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Sit down. It says, but God has revealed them to us. Listen carefully. It says, by his spirit, for the spirit searched all things. Yea, the deep things of God. That's why we stop, right? Now, Paul is trying to explain to them that the Holy Spirit is the searcher of these things. But now he's telling us that there is a limitation to this thing. And here's the limitation. Go ahead. He says, okay, if we've read, go to verse 12 verse 12 now we have received the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God that we may know the things that are freely given to us 13 which things we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual 14 but the natural man now watch this this is the limitation to this experience once you are natural Excuse me. once you are natural he says but the natural man cannot receive these things why he says for they are the nature of that mystery is such that you must be a child to be able to receive it it's too childish for natural people to access it what is it in a dance and breakthrough what is it in an instruction and miracle alert these are manifestations of the hidden wisdom of God. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Two more verses. 15. But he that is spiritual judged all things, yet he is judge of no man. 16 for who had known the mind of the lord that he may instruct him the word instruct him there is not just to direct him who had known let's let's see what amplify says amplify puts it beautifully there give us amplify for who has known or understood the mind the counsel and the purposes of the lord so as to guide and instruct him and give him knowledge he said but we have the mind of christ 
and do all the thoughts the feelings and the purposes of his heart it's a question he was asking who there he says who which ordinary man knows the mind of christ that he can even instruct him he said we do not qualify to know the mind of christ but by that spirit he says we have the mind of christ we have access something that men cannot have the ability to hold the thoughts the feelings the purposes of his heart men rise in this kingdom through the mysteries that they know men rise in this kingdom your life and my life is not just going to rise just because of our education as good as it is your life is not going to rise just by the informations there are things in your life the answer is not in any book on earth there are things there are solutions in your life that need to come that there is no other way of accessing it I show you a system that was created in the kingdom for our glorification someone met me one time a gentleman and he said he works in the bank and he said they gave them an assignment to bring a particular target me too when I had that amount I said Haba where is this guy a thief where is he going to go and raise that kind of money within one month or whatever let me tell you there are things in your life you stand and look at this mountain you do everything you know to do it will not move at that level you stop trying you allow the spirit of god remember i told you the mind of god is a compendium of infinite wisdom i dare to tell you there is an answer to every question it just depends on who tells you the answer there is an answer the bible is full of men women people who they, do you know do you know i believe with all my heart that it was part of this hidden wisdom that guided solomon to give a thousand bond offering yes he loved the lord but that kind of thing cannot be normal it's not just no it's not just a, will you carry a thousand bond no solomon there is a formula to get what you are looking for and it directed him and he did something that was foolish and god came he said you called me he didn't say you slaughtered animal you called me i'm here solomon what should i do for you and solomon says so this thing works ah look at the kinds of instructions that would come you guys are not going to win no? why you are not circumcised ah what is the relationship between my being circumcised and holding a knife I am a warrior the angel said you can go and fight and die like a chicken i've told you the force that controls this result is your circumcision not your sword so if you want to win circumcise everybody imagine the enemies watching men sit down for seven days they can't walk they can't move he said what's wrong with these people warriors he said a, a ghost came and said we can't win your knife is sharp but you are not circumcised and he said you cannot win david went and carried five stones does that make sense to you carried five stones to kill a giant when he came and stood before goliath goliath said abba david me i know i will kill you but at least respect me am i a dog is he a dog that you are chasing he didn't know that that thing was a mystery there's nowhere where stone was carried to kill anybody except the one that the angels use hailstone to kill people a mystery was revealed to that young boy and he stood before goliath with his foolishness and arrogance and took his head down used his knife cut it and gave it to the birds that one experience brought him a wife he became tax-free are we together his family was exempted from all and he was given great wealth and honor say the deep things of god say it again the deep things of god let me tell you this you know why i'm teaching you this because there are many people who believe just because you prophesy and say in the name of Jesus enter a new dimension everything will change about their lives most men of God will want you to believe that just because they prophesy everything will change there are answers that must come to you from heaven by yourself 
that you go to bed in the night and wake up with something that works for only you nobody who applies what was revealed to you that it will work for it was sent from heaven for you are you getting what i'm saying now i don't mean to be disrespectful but you can get up and see just because you don't see koinonia posters around you now go and then don't produce poster too for you is copy and you find out that no people say i don't know what you are doing you didn't inform me i said ah. but how are they doing it here they are not just doing it here it was received that's why it's working and you mean you were there when i told you god gave me the solution for the spreading of koinonia messages is there i came and told him i said god has given me the answer no selling videos no packaging anything put it online and the lord said he will give it wings that was the instruction the hidden wisdom for our glory look the blessing that the lord has brought today because of the ability to access the deep things of god brothers and sisters imagine other things that can happen to your life imagine how the god can end that mockery in your family overnight by one encounter with the wisdom of god do a b c and you stand up foolishly and do it and that's the end of it Do you believe what i'm telling you listen there are there are families that are suffering that even welfare can't help them no matter how you give to them the the level of trouble in that family is such that even one destiny helper cannot be able to help them because the need is recurrent it's not one time if they eat today there's no hope 11 people nobody is educated nobody went to school nobody can do any business they are all old brother you need something that is not in this earth this is a message of hope this is a message of hope young men listen to me if you don't access this you will never be established in your life i promise you fifty thousand per month will not establish you for life i give you a guarantee go and put your money in the bank and get five percent per annum and let me see how much in 10 years that's 50 percent and see how much that will help to build your life most successful people will never tell you everybody knows what he did in the secret you are just seeing the result a man gets up from nowhere and builds an estate they call it favor but they won't tell you the dynamics your favor is real i testify your favor is real your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your goodness is real i testify let me tell you this in one of the days of the seven days prayer and fasting i went to the lord and i prayed a simple prayer and i went to bed now this this these are occurrences that happen to me all the time i was i woke up in the night and usually I go to bed there was no light and I woke up and found out someone had on my lamp my lamp physically now these are experiences that happen to me all the time opened my lamp and then I saw no not this book another one opened and a biro there I, I know because I knew the moment I see this I know God wants to speak to me and I just said Lord I'm ready to write and one two three four God just brought something to my life I said that's it God whatever it is you have done for me I rejoice forever I cried for over one hour seven days prayer and fasting I said my God my God brothers and sisters if your eyes is not open from heaven you will not see if your ears are not open from heaven you cannot hear a man can receive nothing except it is given to him you hear me tell you this a man can you hear me just prophesy and say in the name of jesus it's not just what i'm speaking there is something i receive that is released through what i'm saying that creates the effect 
when I say the power, it's not just because I'm anointed. Everybody operates by the secrets that are working in their life. Hallelujah. I share this thing with you because I want God to surprise you. That you can see this. A family that have no business buying a car. They don't know nothing about finances. They can access something. And in two weeks, all of them are on their knees. Saying, God, what is this? Where did this one come from? Listen, the Bible says it was meant for our glorification. Not our shame. God does not lift men to bring shame to their lives. We don't know his system. It's a mystery that Paul used. Think how many times they tried to kill Paul. Think how many times they tried to do whatever they would do with Paul. There is no such thing as hopelessness for any man. Once you are alive, you are only hopeless until the mystery leaves heaven and gets to you. That's why the prince of Persia fought the information, not the angel. No, don't get this to Daniel. If Daniel receives this, something will happen. Let me tell you, that fight was not Old Testament fight. That fight is a fight that happens every time something is leaving heaven and coming to you. Satan will. He knows that one thing that will. He sent a word to Jacob and it lighted upon Israel. He sent a word to one lady and it changed the story of our generation. That nobody in your family rises to a level and all of a sudden something enters you and you just turn. And let me tell you, I can know what has entered you by the results that follow. These things, eh? Take your eyes away from physical things. When God gave me this, physical things are remote controlled. Forget all these things you desire. It's not by chasing them. There is a central control button in life, I guarantee you, that brings you these things. One of it is this physical results. You have seen it happen in this ministry. You have seen it again and again. No man can do these things except God be with him. I'm saying this to you because the reality of the death of Christ is useless until your life brings glory to your family. We keep mocking ourselves as Christians, going everywhere. Jesus died for me. I am born again. There is nothing that symbolizes glory, not in our lives, not in the life of anybody. Every unsaved person is still unsaved. There is something you and God can do that will make the hardened sinner in your family within two weeks you will come one night and hear him listening to a message from your phone you say sorry sir this is a christian message say you don't know what happened to me just leave me quietly you just know that god has come to your family something you did called for his help and he came hallelujah you hear that lady one point hand is touched changes to four points you try it and see if it will change it's not the hand it's the mystery it's not the hand so most people just think oh i will just confess just because the bible says to speak and in the name of jesus i decree and declare oh receive this and you find out nothing happens because you see it is what supports what you are saying not just the speech itself you may not know but your results begin to show first you would think it's a coincidence so you are not sure you are even afraid of the result but then you see that it becomes predictable predictable ah, ah. someone blessed Sam today in the evening someone blessed him next tomorrow someone blessed him next tomorrow someone blessed him and you find out that no this this is not so your little church one member comes then the next thing five people come you see somebody who say I'm a keyboardist my friend is a drummer the Lord just led us to your church. Say, no, but this can't be a coincidence. I've been in ministry for 10 years. No, there is no coincidence. Everything is intentionally calculated. Even the disappearance of favor from your family was intentionally programmed. It will take something from the spirit. Listen, there are some of us here. You graduated with a third class. 
let's tell ourselves the truth if it is in this nigeria there is no human being who is going to employ you ordinarily i'm not making you scared there are some of us who what we have studied with all humility what we have studied that value is not celebrated nor needed in nigeria is the truth there are some of us because of the tribes we come from there are wicked men that sit in positions in this country and make sure they frustrate you there are some of us even if you collect salary the 10 other people in your family who need you to eat will make that salary look like 10 naira you need to access these mysteries are we together you need to access these mysteries i will show you how Oh God, I'm grateful. Oh God, I'm grateful. Oh God, I'm grateful. Time will tell whether we are just talkatives or dispensers of the mysteries of the kingdom. Time will tell whether what you are receiving is a cunningly devised fable or is a programming that will make you surprised at your own life. That somebody will look at you and say i know you are a villager you say you you insulted me for 30 years but i found something that in six months brought glory to my life that you will bring the gospel to your family you bring the not just the gospel you are able you may be the last born but this thing does not do with age whoever can get the holy spirit to bring you something from the mind of god it will change your life understand this you see all these manifestations that happen it's not just the anointing you see let me tell you something with when you catch a spiritual mystery there is an effect of that understanding on your environment you see that so every time people come under that circumference they even without directly receiving it they become benefactors of that experience it's true if you have a vision and you see an angel now anyone within that vicinity will benefit there are others that opening of that portal insight will come to them they were not praying just because you open the portal someone will benefit from it the prophet opened the eyes of another person he never said do you have faith do you believe because he could see someone's eyes open But the natural man, the man who is scientific, the man who laughs at anything that is of God, the man who looks at all these things and says, look, let me tell you, I, I went to Harvard Business School. I'm a smart man. I know everything about economy. I, I went to so, so, so business school. Nothing is wrong with that. I did this and that. Look, I'm a smart gentleman. I got this and that. The Bible says those kinds of people. To them when you are talking like this they are some of these bloggers that write nonsense and extract messages like this and say look at the rubbish that they are teaching members and another natural man will concur and say yes so they teach people to dance in church they teach people to jump like fools ah religion the opium of the masses i don't know who taught that but what i am telling you is the mystery that men have accessed and produced wonders with you see if this ministry was not successful many of you think you are just talking just because of this is let me tell you something with results results strengthen your message are you hearing this now that's why for many of you no one has received your gospel results defy argument you can argue with a man but you can't argue with results a woman can be barren but when that woman is pregnant it's not water that is in her stomach it's a human being this earth you see is like a computer game whoever has the control button will make nonsense of satan in this earth there are things i have learned that have surprised me how satan hid this thing from the church and those who access these things are those who do witchcraft and scientology and all of this so the condition is they initiate you into those devilish things they say come
they put incisions they do all kinds of occult groups and then they show you something that has always been there always been there you sell your soul to the devil for money you sell your soul but and, it, and you know we preachers insult people why sell your soul but hunger was it not hunger that took israel to egypt if they were satisfied they would not go there was hunger and they all went hunger is still taking men to egypt we must be able to find a system to make goshen fruitful so that they don't need to go to egypt don't sit down and tell people uh, why why are you doing this why will you go and sleep with a man to get uh, a job can you do you know the mystery that can give the sister the job come let me pray for you except i'm a man of god you will get a job in two weeks five years she has not gotten the job and she just says don't mind this guy my family is dying there and this arrogant pastor wants to leave me in pain but happy are you brothers and sisters that you can look at a man and enter a family and they said look look at us sorry we're embarrassed there is nothing to eat our father is about leaving jesus christ and saying that by next week he's going to go to a herbalist in the village and you say daddy give me 24 hours something will happen in this house give me 24 hours and the man says you are a young boy we did all this jesus thing those days in boys brigade he said no problem i agree with you sir just allow me and within 24 hours something happens and the man calls you and says sorry i don't understand I'm, I'm a proud man i usually don't talk to small boys but sit down and you tell him jesus is still the way jesus is still the la truth jesus is still the life how about that my herbalist leave him I brought you the reality he said he gave it for our glory listen hear me church if we trivialize the desperation of men to see the glory of God in their life we will lose our members to occultists did you hear what I said any pastor any prophet any apostle any man of God that trivializes the importance of the members experiencing the glory of God I guarantee you a day will come our young men our keyboardists will go to shrines because they must eat they must become they will become herbalists our ladies will go and fraternize with the gates of hell we will be there jumping on stage dispensing all kinds of things there are things that pertain to life and godliness not just godliness to life your child must go to school to life your child can be born again and not be educated and as a result your child will become a slave to every other person there are some of us everyone in your family works for someone they distribute them to go and be slaves you are 10 in your family nobody can stand alone you go and help this uncle wash his car you Abba. your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your kindness is real I testify hallelujah look at someone like Kenny look at this gentleman I, I don't mean to make him feel bad his dad has gone to be with the Lord his mother has gone to be with the Lord everybody that can help him in life has gone he's on his own it's easy for a preacher who has food in his house to run your mouth and say you will make it and leave this gentleman by the time he suffers his sister is crying everybody is crying this guy will get into gambling he will get into occultism he will get into every kind of demonic thing that's what we are, we are losing our members in church because they are not seeing the reality the validity of what the word says we are losing our ladies to ungodly people we are losing our gentlemen our fathers are becoming herbalists covenanting generations in shrines because hunger is taking them to egypt i will never preach a god who is not alive it's a vow i made right from when god called me I will preach a God that can be proven here and now that he is not only the saver of souls he's the lifter of men he's the anointer of men he's the revealer of secrets I love you too much some of you as you are hearing me now you check your phone and you see missed calls from your loved ones we have not eaten for three days please if you're a man of God here let's take people seriously let's not just be acting games with people's destinies I bring you good news there is a way out 
there is a way out there is a way out we have orphans in this place we have widows in this place we have widowers in this place it's not their fault that they could not be educated do you blame a child was it his fault you see a woman of 60 years with her two children there is no physical hope of any breakthrough they are the ones who give us offerings and we collect as men of God they are the ones who carry their last money and kneel down and give us our job is to collect and eat let me tell you God will soon start punishing us men of God who are collecting people's offering and not giving them the truth that will lift them after service I can stand here and some of you will carry your last money and come and give me and I will collect and go back who will betide me if I don't teach you the truth It's not fair we keep destroying people's destinies in the name of church look at how many young men sit down and they are asking man of god you are established me i'm not show me now so that both the sower and the reaper will rejoice but i keep telling you you just keep sowing in my life and sit down there while i am enjoying it as i'm talking to you now my food is ready some of you you love god but right where you are there is no food for you to eat how long will this continue we say it's Easter. Jesus died. He conquered Satan. Oh, dead. Where is your sting? We mock ourselves in church. And the only people who rejoice are the men of God. Your goodness is real. I testify. Your goodness is real. Your goodness is real. I testify. Listen, gentlemen, let me teach you something. There are things you can learn. You will bring one song. One song, not ten songs. Nobody rises as a result of a full album. There is one song that comes from, there is the one you compose that your worship teammates will clap for you. And with it, they will invite you to two or three ministrations and you go back as usual. But there is one that comes from the throne. You will sit down and hear them playing it in Africa. And you will mint money as if you are a charmer. And God says, that's not the issue. I'm just proving to you that everything from above is above all. There are some of you, there's one idea that this mystery can bring. You go and meet someone and say, sir, this is it. And the person says, because of this, come. I will. Read the Bible. Look at modern history and see people's lives change. When you hear some of the songs that he'll song right, look at the young guys. They are not even neatly dressed. You know that this one is the grace of God upon a vessel. You ask them to compose songs by themselves and see the rubbish they will write. There are music artists in this nation. We all know where they got their songs from. It does not make sense and it has blessed them. That's to tell you there is a force that is not human. You listen to it, you can't stop. Something in it draws you. Most of us write songs, you carry a paper and a biro and sit down with the consciousness of the hunger that is in front of you and you just find a scripture. Where will I lift up my eyes? Two times. I will say amen. I will say amen. The Lord be praised two times. It will never, never sell. Not in this kingdom. If, if listen you are laughing I'm very serious with what I'm saying if it is God's result it must come from him there are pastors that love God doing everything they were taught in Bible school but it's not working because the forces that keep men down the forces that keep men down can only be dislodged by an intelligence that is not earthly as for me Joshua Selman I have made my choice that this is how I'm going to live my life my life is too risky to be human this the earth is too wicked for me to live just as a human being I must live as a divine being because it is he that cometh from above that is above all are we together we have doctors here if you follow the normal course the thing they are doing in Shika you will never really rise 
because one day you will see somebody who will look at you and say dr david i know you are qualified dr halima but because you are not from my village i sit on your destiny i am professor this and that and he says all right sir you go back and engage this mystery and come out and in his presence he will sign you as you are rising tomorrow he will come in the dedication of a foundation and you just say ah that is a is my own i wanted to tell you that i didn't stop rising after all of your mockery my god is still alive listen don't you dare laugh at any man that understands what i'm saying they may carry their 200 naira trouser and surprise you i bring you a message of hope brothers and sisters this storm that rage over our families will not rage forever there is a way out this Easter there is a way out there is a way out the way out is to be able to access this hidden mystery now sit down let me explain to you the last thing and then we'll pray Hallelujah. pray I'm already seeing an electric cable sparking is what I'm seeing in the spirit hallelujah the overflow by the roadside there's someone receiving a healing anointing that overflow overflow two now there's someone receiving a healing anointing the healing anointing that's what I'm saying the healing anointing it will be by the spirit you may not be a preacher but you are receiving it and it will change your life oh what business can lift me let me try this let me try that and you keep crying you access this mystery and you are sitting down and here it comes and your life rises and changes I know a woman years ago she she got into coca-cola business and the only reason why she got into coca-cola business was because she was just sitting down according to what she told me and it was like a vision and she saw a like a what they call this thing this thing they buy container and she was bringing coca-cola from it immediately she knew that this was where my prosperity was you see why many of us keep trying things and wasting our time you are trying you need to receive god knows where your money is your money is not everywhere it is in the place directed geography matters when it comes to do prosperity isaac sowed in that land and the woman started it mysteriously help started coming for her and that was how this woman rose up do you know when i spoke with this woman from what i know about financial intelligence I, I saw how unfair life can be for such a woman to be prospering. I think the only thing that woman may know is just how to count money and all of that. But just because she was directed, the Lord is my shepherd and so I shall not want. Hallelujah. The character of this kind of prayer, listen carefully. Let me tell you the difference between praying in tongues, the prayer language for your spiritual building, your edification, and the prayer that is for reception. Number one, when you pray these kinds of prayer, listen, the kind of prayer that receives is not a prayer that is done with aggression. Your mind has to be alert. Listen carefully. I'm giving you there are certain kinds of prayer that the power of God comes upon you. You are praying in tongues. You must exert energy because of the gravity of what is happening in the spirit. These tongues, these tongues you see, is the kind of tongues that as you are communicating, God allows your mind to still be alert because something is happening. As you are activating certain things, ideas are coming. It's not just the kind of tongues that you go to the forest alone and you are shouting. This one, you are praying, you are receiving. Something is coming from heaven for you to receive. Your mind must be alert as you pray. Your mind must be alert as you pray. 
it's not every kind of prayer that your mind is alert there are times you are just praying sometimes you are not even yourself five hours will pass you don't know because there is a dimension but when you are praying to activate this mystery your mind must be alert to receive that which god is bringing number two listen everything received must be documented or preserved immediately because of the nature of how spiritual things are listen carefully spiritual things are very volatile you can lose a spiritual information in five minutes and it will take the grace of god to receive sometimes it can be a vision that vision you can't understand it immediately so you find a way of preserving it my phone is full of voices of encounters sometimes i'm praying and the things i'm seeing i start recording it immediately because i know if this thing sleeps it may not come back again I, is somebody getting this now most of you when these kinds of things happen you say no problem let me finish my three hours prayer and it leaves never comes again that was a five years breakthrough that just disappeared in one strategy you see why prophets were writers when i'm praying i pray with my books my is on my hand my phone everything because there are times i will need to draw there are times i will need to quickly write there are times i will need to record i get up in the morning i i found out that sometimes writing is too slow how many of you have gotten up and you literally had seconds to preserve something seconds if it escapes that second sometimes when god is merciful to you he will draw you to start praying you think you are just praying you are repeating the same thing and there the dream comes again Are we together let me tell you something i have gotten information in pieces that the complete picture came within the span of three years spiritual things are very strange you can get one part you need to preserve it because you will need that part the other part will come december the next year and then the last piece comes january when you piece three of them together they equate a dimension of breakthrough that your life will never recover from so when you are praying these kinds of prayer you can go to the place of prayer knowing that my purpose of prayer is to receive a strategy i'm going there lord i'm going to receive and all of a sudden you are praying you are praying you are alert you are alert there are sometimes in the midst of your prayer you will find out that the grace to pray supposedly lifts you can't pray again don't just get up and say it's a demonic attack be silent his voice is coming something is coming most of us don't understand these dynamics of prayer there are times you are praying and you just feel like sitting down somewhere help them please and you just sit down somewhere quietly like a zombie you are even afraid because you don't want people to think that you came and you were joking you see the mistake we make when we get to the place of prayer we just shut the door and make sure everybody around is hearing us to justify our spirituality we are cheating ourselves of dimensions there are times you can go to prayer and for two hours nobody has heard you you've not even started the prayer you are sitting down and for two hours you are like a librarian dictating mysteries that you yourself don't understand one day god will say remember what i told you go to your book page 75 check the last column that's the answer for what you are looking for there are times that i've gone to make reference to books things i wrote 2008 2009 i just remember i've seen this image somewhere and god says remember i go and look for the book i remember when koinonia was going to start that's when i remembered that god had revealed that thing to me 2005 I now when I was searching the book immediately I opened I saw everything revealed verbatim do you believe what I'm sharing with you we're going to pray many of us lose it listen to me every time you stand before a challenge and you want to pray don't just go and wail oh God you too you know how we are if you don't arise you can cry you can do everything you want to do but the moment you pray do you know many times you will see your prayer alternating you know that the last 30 minutes was warfare the next 30 minutes is not warfare that that prayer they all have their characteristics 
you can know that i was praying for two hours but the last 20 minutes of that prayer is this one is is a serious warfare what is happening you thought that after two hours it will go and all of a sudden a grace for prayer comes again and you can push through another two hours there are times you go to pray you cannot even reach 20 minutes if you are not careful you will think you are backsliding it is the context of the communication of the spirit religion is a dangerous thing it will destroy your prayer life there are times i've sat down to pray from morning till evening and i'm unable to say a word highest worship is just playing i want to get up and maybe the only thing i can say in that prayer session is thank you jesus thank you jesus i give you all the praise thank you jesus here it comes i'm writing thank you jesus okay teach these people this thank you jesus your people don't understand this thank you jesus the way to go about this is to do a b c d thank you jesus okay don't worry i will reveal to you the answer during leaders meeting thank you jesus they that are led by the spirit of god you see when you understand what i'm teaching you you will not only command signs and wonders your life will be a sign and a wonder we win in life by strategies if naomi never went to the farm of boaz she would never marry marriageable but no strategy if the walls of jericho the people carried their sword and tried to bring down that gate they would have slaughtered them like chickens just the arrows from the watchmen would kill them and destroy them it takes strategies to win you have dreams where is the strategy when i meet pastors they tell me their message but they don't tell me the strategy god said go and raise me a people where do you think these people are and how are you going to fulfill that mandate a friend called me and he said um i should advise him is it right wonderful friend that i love he said is it right for him to continue raising offering in church i said well i don't have a problem with it but go and find out how god designed the finances of your ministry to run go and pray and receive a strategy do you know the challenge with the body of christ we copy everything without thinking about it we copy if i start rolling this um, um, what do you call it my trousers are now here i do it for two weeks as foolish as it is of course i know it's because you love me and you believe in the word of the lord upon me you will be surprised how somebody will go for a lecture with trouser road like that he will never ask and say sorry is it an instruction that is followable or is a unique dealing or you, you are your leg is just paining you and you think you are doing this we copy everything and sometimes to our detriment are we blessed i want you to get results You have to be at alert. You have to be focused. You have to be discerning. One of the ways that we engage these kinds of tongues is to write down all the issues of concern and pray while you look at it. There is a relationship between your eyes and the realm of the spirit. This eye is not just for looking. You can write these things. House rent. God, what is the way out? Are we together now? ministry is not growing i'm trusting you for the healing anointing i've read everything i know what is the way out you are walking around and you just allow the holy spirit pray through you all of a sudden you will just get an idea go down to zaria see apostle let him lay hands on you you see you think that that thing just came there is no other man of god you will meet no matter how anointed that will impart that healing anointing because the instruction is already tied to a vessel sometimes it may not even be to see a man of god there are graces when i wanted god led me to specific people and places i remember i've shared some of them with you we just do things at random no divine direction hallelujah I will never forget one day I was asking God a very serious question about ministry and all of a sudden literally as if as if a force came my hands were shaking 
and before you knew it i still don't know the name that i typed a youtube video enter and all of a sudden one old old gray baba just appears like this with one 25 minutes message and i listened to it that message changed my life i searched for other videos the, the message did not even finish but it contained my answer hallelujah are you blessed you have to learn this if you must rise there are two ways to rise in life hustle if you want to keep moving around and knocking or go to God and say my God show me the way show me the way God can help men oh. koinonia hear me my God can help men this trial and error we are doing with our lives is too much sometimes the injury that will come from trying may not allow you to try another day again so the key is to be circumspect access the deep things of god if you're naming tonight's message then is is titled accessing the deep things of god i'm giving you a secret this is what i do with my life lord i thank you sometimes a scripture is coming sometimes the voice of god comes for you sometimes a mystery comes sometimes an instruction comes you see that god can give you all kinds of foolish instructions let me tell you do you know there was a day i do this every once in a while but there was a day god instructed me i was just lying down i i wasn't asleep and i was praying and all of a sudden i just sensed the anointing and all of a sudden the spirit of god told me stand up and lie down flat on the ground like get up from your bed oh, and lie imagine if somebody opened my door he said this is it I've, I've i've always known that this guy there is something occultic he's doing and you would think as i lie down i will feel one ghost i saw nothing i had nothing i lay down like that for about maybe 20 minutes honestly speaking i even started sleeping small and later the voice just came go to bed go and sleep the next meeting that we went i can't remember where i saw a dimension of the grace of god that i couldn't understand i said what happened and god told me while you were lying down your something was happening to you you don't have to feel it you believe it god is not a fool this is how some of you can be there lord who is going to be my helper and god says come out in front of your house and just stand for 15 minutes the natural man lord what i'm, I'm educated and you stand there 10 minutes somebody passes and says, ah promise are you all right he say, ah, i'm fine of course you can't tell them it's god that's making you a fool like that and all of a sudden sometimes the 15 minutes will even finish and nothing will happen and you just feel disappointed and you go back say god this is what you did god is watching your aptness to obeying him one day you will be sleeping in the night and by 2 a.m god will say call pastor alpha just call and tell him what is the message ah god how do i call a married man by 2 a.m god say do it immediately you call he said i was just about to call you here is the message for you the place is uyo not lagos that's all i saw in my dream look believers you need to be dynamic when you are just straightforward and religious there is no breakthrough the operations of the spirit is like the wind you can't tell where it's coming or where it's going so is one who is led of the spirit there are people here who came from lagos because they were praying lord what do i do with my life and god says stand up come to zaria they can't tell you exactly why they are here that's why when you ask them those questions it's difficult for them to answer they don't want to look like they are stupid sometimes they themselves think they are stupid but keep watching god there is a mystery walking out then you will see the glory and the beauty why will god tell you to leave lagos this gentleman left ghana and came help that lady i said lagos and truly truly she fell under the anointing praise someone gets up and is enjoying oil money in portacourt and god says stand up and go and do two weeks in zamfara another person can be living where there is an oil well and be dying whereas his money 
is in Sokoto. As dry and harsh as the weather is, your prosperity is where the voice of God is for you. Not greener pastures is not a location. Greener pastures is a realm where the voice of the Spirit directs you. There are people, any other place you go, you will not prosper. You will prosper in Zaria. Someone will come in Zaria and be wondering, what is in this place? The only thing I saw was just a few shops here, but a direction for you. Every lifting in this ministry and every greatness God has brought happened right here because we could access these mysteries. Are you ready to pray? We are going to pray. Sit down. You are not going to stand up. Sit down. Listen. You are just going to play these instruments for me just lightly and then I just want you to pray. Don't shout and mm -mm, just take out time. You just pray in the spirit. Right? Take out time and pray in the spirit and you will be surprised to be sensitive to what God will be doing. For some as you are praying, what you will be receiving is impartation. Some as you are praying, you will not even know what is happening to you. Not every information must be communicated in words. Some truths are imparted. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Don't worry about those shouting. Pray in the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Everywhere, inside, outside, you just pray. the spirit show us the secrets of our life oh God show us the way out let it come from heaven some of you are receiving things just because your mind is not understanding it you watch and see what happens to you a few days from now what you have received will start being revealed to you and you will see that this is what happened in koinonia oh, 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 oh. Lord, what is the way out for my business? What is the way out for my family? Lord, what is the secret to addressing this barrenness? Lord, what level of unction do I need for this ministry? Why is it not growing? Lord, why is my family stagnated? Why are the works of my hands challenged? Send me help from Zion, O God. just pray koinonia we are soaking in the glory everyone pray in the spirit lord why is my cgpa refusing to rise what must i do i have studied i've done my best go ahead pray lord what do i need to do where is my finances oh god where is it where is the key to the next level what is the formula for my establishment lord how will you bail my family out do i just meet anybody should i meet a particular helper if yes what is the name who is the helper is he in zaria is she in zaria do i need to go out of zaria lord what is the thing is my ministry in zaria is it in nigeria where is it where is my breakthrough? Pray. Show.
show me the secrets of my destiny Go ahead. We are not wasting our time. I, I guarantee you. The Bible says the natural man. The natural man. Some of you in the silence. Like the dew of Hammon. Ideas begin to come. That poultry is my will for you. Don't stop it. That public speaking. You are about to give up. But it is where your finances is. Don't stop. It looks like your church is not growing. But you are called. You just need an upgrade of the anointing answers coming from heaven spirit of the lord we ask you search for us the deep things search the mind of god concerning our destinies concerning our families concerning our ministries concerning our homes <laughs> Lord, where will this budget money come from? There is no human way it is going to come. But I know that thou art the fountain of wisdom. It is in your light that we see light. Show me. Show me. Open my eyes. I am tired of doing what everybody is doing. I'm tired of failing like everyone. I'm tired of saying yes to just anybody. Open my eyes. Show me. pray just three or four more minutes lord where is the anointing where is the place you want me to be meeting with you for prayer is it my room or do i need to go out of my house every night what is the timing what is my time of receiving revelation from you? Is there a unique time you want to give me? From 12 to 2 every day. Is it a time you are giving me? It may not be so for everybody. But what time have you allocated for my visitation? Do I need to fast once every day? Do I need to go on a drive fast? What do I need to do? Do I need to dance for 7 days? Show me oh God. There has to be a way out. Why are my heavens closed? Why do I fast and pray and yet nothing happens? Why are the nine graduates in my family jobless? Show me. Then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Two more minutes, go ahead and pray. Open my mind, open my mind, open my mind. There is a way out. There is a way to the wealthy place. There is a way to the anointing. There is a way to influence. There is a way to access the mysteries of the kingdom. There is a path which no fowl knoweth. The wealth of the lion has not trodden there. Show me, oh God, these mystery paths in the spirit. These virgin dimensions in the spirit that mortal men cannot dare tread. Open my eyes, oh God, like a two-edged sword and let me see the path here marked for my destiny. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Hello, 
Yogi Madonna. Just be silent, everyone. Just be silent. Just be as silent as you can. Wherever you are, just be silent. The Lord is putting something in your spirit. Be still and know. Be still and receive. Be still and hear. Be still and enter. Be still and you will know. Just be silent for two or three minutes. God is doing something in your life. Answers coming as words, as impartations. Be still. Some of you, God will be saying, don't waste your time in that direction. That's not the path for your life. Don't waste your time. Be still. Some of you, God will be telling you the change will not come in one day. Just be patient. I will visit your family, but it will take time. Please be patient. Just be patient with me a few minutes and we're done. Be patient. Answers are coming. Think on your business while you are standing. Think on your family while you are standing. Think on your ministry while you are standing. Answers are coming from the throne. Coming from the throne. God is telling you, I will raise help for you. It will not be with your resources that you will make this happen. The helpers are coming. The helpers are coming. The helpers are coming. This sickness is not unto death. This sickness is not unto death. I will give thee health and cure. It is true that the healing ministry is my will for you. It is true that the healing ministry is my will for you. It is true that the healing ministry is my will. It is true that the healing for you, the ministry, the healing ministry, you will walk in it. It is true that the healing ministry is. Just be patient. I see sparks of light. It's a picture of illumination. You are receiving something in your spirit. God is giving some of us clarity. 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 Shalakato grande celebaria catapotus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I pray for you by the message of God that the same way God sends me insight by the angel of his presence, I pray for you. Whatever alignment your spirit must take. To not only hear his voice, but receive of the impulses from the throne. I make this happen for you now. In the name of Jesus, I make this happen for you now. Whatever position your ears must take in the spirit, your eyes must take in the spirit. To clear up the blurry visions, to make sure that the speakings are clear. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May the grace, the spirit of grace, make this happen for you even in this Easter. Supernatural ideas, innovative ideas, supernatural strategies, the strategies that force things to work. Some of you, this week will not be over until you begin to see the fruits of superior wisdom this week will not be over until you see things that will marvel you happening by the spirit of god manifesting by the finger of god you will apply the things that you are receiving 
and you will watch it work it was not supposed to work but because it came by his voice you will see it rise i say to you you will see it rise i speak to you that you will see it rise before the miracle service on friday some of you will only come for thanksgiving because before then that which you have received from heaven will walk like fire will walk like fire listen there are some of you the next meeting you will go for as a man of god you will be surprised to see the dimension of the operation of the gifts of the spirit you will go for your meetings and god will give you epochal revelations you will command the realm of the spirit at your beck and call in dimensions that you will be afraid of and that one experience will open the doors of finances open the doors of ministry increase membership bring increase for you listen there is a reign of wealth and prosperity that is coming upon this ministry you hear me as i speak i don't just talk about money just because no 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 no. there is a reign r-a-i-n of a dimension i have seen this thing many times in my visions a dimension all these miracle alerts are just messages do you know why because god wants to establish men fast to give us room to serve him there is a dimension i want you to write it write it down that there is a dimension brothers and sisters you will see things happen to men you now see that will surprise you i know this by the spirit one of the impartations that we are coming to receive on friday is this grace for financial exploits please believe it i'm not apologetic about it because we need it your heavenly father knows there are families that must come to just cry and say god if you leave us to ourselves we may not reach the end of this year i'm rounding up a precious woman one wonderful kaduna family that i love so much they left to church this morning while service was going on in this area thieves came and buckled their house because of the financial squalor you can imagine people now live and go for work they went to church they were praying whereas robbers buckled their house packed everything that can be carried pits whatever i mean carried them um, i don't know they didn't give me the details of what they carried they entered came and saw their house scattered because of the wickedness of satan let me tell you this a spiritual demarcation has been made over this ministry and everyone connected from this grace you are totally exempted from this financial wickedness it's no longer poverty it's warfare there is a spirit behind it to make sure believers are rubbish to become nonsense to make sure pastors become beggars to make sure nothing is discussed in church again no salvation message only money message to make sure that people never rise that the only thing that happens in church is money and raising seeds the spirit of poverty you open your shop to sell and there is a pungency there is a sense of repulsion you have everything that should be bought and people leave your shop and go somewhere to queue no we wrestle not against flesh and blood please listen to me but against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and the spiritual wickedness they don't reside in hell they are in the heavenlies i counseled a man of god i think it was two or three years ago the devil i don't know the devil uses his face to oppress his members like you have a church now and then you will see my face i will come with an axe in a dream or something and oppress you will you attend that church 
and everybody started saying the man is a fake man truly i don't know anything about him but when i got to meet him he said apostle what is this he said i got born again in the present i have a history what is this thing everybody is saying i'm a fake man of god i went to collect power that they see me in dreams i said that's it the enemy has done this the devil would divide best friends by using the face of a best friend to oppress someone then lead that best friend to a, a prophet who may not be fake but is not spiritually accurate and he will say your friend is jealous and wants to kill you nonsense listen to me these spirits are actors they can join you together they look for where trouble is and guide you like the holy spirit guides you in all truth the devil can guide you in all trouble police is about to arrest a thief you, you find out that you are you are passionate about leaving home to go there you were minding your business but now you just get somewhere and they arrest all of you it's not normal it's not normal it's not normal we need miracles so we need real divine interventions we need the hand of god to come upon our lives we need the grace of god you are in your office with all kinds of people listen one of the things we have to learn is that not everybody is born again i think we are used to the fact that we are all born again around a circle so because of that you believe that the same way in your office everyone is born again let me tell you there are people who are fraternized with darkness to a realm and a level that except you are powerful indeed they will not only destroy you they will destroy you slowly hallelujah i think he was here i don't know which month i hope maybe the family may even be here they brought for me a medical student the final year last session the lady just became mad I is it because of reading is she the first to go to school it's a spirit a woman labors on her daughter my brothers and my sisters and just when this woman is about to reap the reward of her labor have you not heard of people who graduated on their way going back home to celebrate a bike comes out from nowhere there is no bike that comes out from nowhere thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day not the noisome pestilence well you can choose to believe what i'm telling you or you can choose to allow time proof to you that this life does not joke if Jesus himself got up early in the morning to pray and put everything in order he says knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth thereof I've shared with you how many times I'm I want to take a trip and somebody genuine prophet genuine some of them are my friends and send me a text and say apostle be careful i saw an accident i saw this that is the plan of the devil but the ability to know his plan and conquer it is where victory comes from listen to me it is selfish to forget about your family and forget the let me tell you this you know esther was going to make a mistake the same mistake of Vashti, Esther was about to make it. She was about to forget her people and the purpose for which she went to the palace. And Mordecai said, don't think that when they are done with us, you will be spared. Sometimes when the devil wants to destroy you, he will leave the most powerful person to continue while he destroys every other person. Do you know that their going down will affect you spiritually? Tonight we came for serious business. I vowed a vow that I'm not going to waste the time of any of God's people. No. This, this, this ministry is not a museum. This is the place where we dislodge darkness. You, you have to return with a testimony. A woman called me one time she had this son whether he joined friends or so and went somewhere I don't know what he went to go and do this young boy maybe about 10 or 11 started hearing voices 
physical voices like word of knowledge sometimes they can tell him kill yourself or pour hot water you know you you know that is of the devil when the instruction does not carry the life of god god will never ask you to pour hot water on your body how does it glorify jesus the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy and this boy continued to do all these kinds of things and i told her, i said mama thank god you brought this boy this boy would die for nothing one day hell is rearming itself to make sure there is an onslaught an assault against the body of christ and many times we are just crossing our legs listen i need you to know i've taught you about warfare we teach warfare correctly we are not people who fight from a standpoint of foolishness we are standing from a standpoint of victory but that establishment you must do it otherwise victory will not be automatic hebrews chapter 2 it says but we do not yet see all things under his feet please let me say this respectfully be careful who you listen to and be careful the content of the spiritual information you are giving just because people are sincere may not mean their communications are balanced and accurate listen to what i'm telling you many people have become casualties of imbalanced spiritual communications jesus told us everywhere in his crusade demons came they were not afraid of Jesus' own crusade. Demons, they followed people. They didn't wait outside and enter later on. They came. Imagine Jesus in a crusade. Praise the Lord. The people shouted hallelujah and the demons were still in them. And they did not go. When the word is not engaged, it does not have any power to do anything. A spirit can sit down. The same way some of you are sitting quietly now. As sincere and innocent as you are. In the next few minutes, you'll be surprised what will be happening in your own life. And then you will see doors that have been closed opening like this. Then you will know that these doors were not closed by mistake and will not be opened by mistake. Everything good comes to everybody except you. The moment is your turn, something terrible happens. A gentleman just sees you and says, beautiful lady, can I go and see your parents? And that's the end of it. His business goes down, his life goes down, everything crashes until he leaves you, then he goes back up. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Hmm. So while it is true that it's the Holy Spirit that ultimately creates conviction the manifestation of the miraculous in our lives and in the church you know when i came down you need to see the multitudes of people outside there are people sitting on the soccer way here my brothers and my sisters listen you went to school do you think human beings are stupid do you think someone will transport himself from another nation or another state some of you have not eaten since you came you came straight to sit down is god so wicked to sit down and allow you carry your trouble and go back oh not koinonia i welcome you to a place where god has given us the keys to deal with everything that is not of god i saw so many people standing outside the overflow by the roadside and compassion just gripped my heart i said imagine if i were one of these people and they were happily standing they were not complaining they just knew that if I may but touch the hem of his garment. My brothers and my sisters, let me tell you, forgive me if it sounds proud, but God has given us something. Let me tell you sincerely. We, we make bold and we ask the world to come and receive because he has given us something. I told you last week, you only knock a door that you don't have the key. When you have a key, you, don't, you stop knocking, you open. That's the same way your destiny will be open. The Lord declared prophetically that this is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. So in a meeting like this, if I were you, my heart is stayed on that word. Listen, let me tell you. Please listen. You see me teaching passionately, we are going to pray. When I teach like this, huh, I don't teach as a preacher. I come with my heart full of a burden. 
are you getting what i'm saying i come sincerely with my heart full of a burden because i love god but i love his people too my greatest satisfaction is not my personal progress is seeing the hand of god made manifest in your life when instructions are given when these spiritual things are given you must open your heart to believe them you see the the gospel works with the simplicity of childlike faith sometimes many of us carry this trado african pride and that's what stops us from receiving god wants to step in and touch you and you are wondering will god really touch me you know my peculiar problem you know the name abba are you the first to be in trouble God knows how to deliver the righteous from trouble. Let me tell you this. I don't care what the situation is, but I want us to agree that this God of heaven, uh, the king of the universe, that he will arise for you tonight. You see, let me tell you this. My prayer this year, when I was fasting and praying this year, I prayed a prayer. I said, Lord, some people don't know what a testimony is. Give them one. They only know how other people's testimonies. The Lord did this for this, but they have never had a testimony themselves. The day you have a real testimony yourself, it will humble you. You wouldn't know whether to stand or to kneel down. That's what I'm praying for you for today. A testimony. When the hand of God comes in a meeting and upon a man, you see, let me tell you this. The supernatural is not just falling down and roll. You can fall down and roll from left to right and stand up and go back and not testify. The proof that God came is the testimony that follows. The testimony. The testimony of Jesus. The testimony of Jesus apostle i came here barren much miracle service by april miracle service i'm one month pregnant that's a testimony listen come david down when the devil oppresses your life destroys everything about you he uses men as a canvas to write a letter to god that your dominion and your royalty is still being contested with oppression is a letter sent through men to god the highest of god's creation the devil writes upon your life i will destroy the family and i will make sure everyone begs like you send a um, a chat send and then a miracle is god's reply that god writes through you and says in spite of this i am still on the throne It's true. I believe in miracles. I honestly and truthfully believe in miracles. I believe in principles. I believe in mysteries. But I believe in divine intervention. My brothers and my sisters, God can shorten a man's journey. What then is the excellency of his mercy? Listen. God is a God of process, I agree. Listen carefully. God is a God of principles, I agree. He will not excuse laziness and he will not excuse spiritual laxity. But let me tell you, when blind Bartimio said, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. The mercy of God can shorten the journey of a man. If you get born again at age 40, do you know how long it takes to know God? genuinely know god you don't read your bible in two months and know god but there's something the spirit of god can do and give you a solid encounter that in six months you have caught up with the spiritual level of more than five years how about restoration your parents started building from 1999 till today it has stopped at linter level right there you went to school and said, I'm going to pay it and finish everything. The day you said you pay it, you almost died. I made a vow with my life that I would believe this word 
and I will engage it. Life is too risky to be careless with spiritual laws. Engage it. Don't wait until the devil kills your life and your children before. You know, many believers learn too late. Let me say this and thank God for his mercy you will receive. But do you know there are some of you, the Lord spoke to you about coming here since last year. You've been arguing and giving reasons and excuses. Your situation would not have been that bad. But thank God because although Lazarus was three days dead, Jesus is still the resurrection and the life. Not only the healer. When I prayed, I told the Lord, I said, please Lord, give people a testimony. Real testimonies. I was blind. Now I see. God did something in three weeks to my finances. Everybody see what God can do. God transformed my family. God turned me around and did something for me. I don't doubt your love for God, but there must be proofs of that love. There must be proofs of that love. Somebody shout, Lord, give me an evidence. Say, Lord, give me an evidence. I believe in proofs. John chapter 4 and verse 48. I'll begin to pray shortly. Bless you. 4 verse 48. He says, and Jesus said unto him, who was speaking here? Jesus. Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. How true. How true. That there are so many people in your family, until they see what the power of God does in your life. They will never believe your God. They think God is one of those things. This is a charm. This is this. This is that. And then God is one of them. But the day like Dagon, all those gods fall before the almighty God. And you return back with a solid evidence. Let me tell you that day, like Pharaoh, your loved ones will confess that this your God is God. Are we together so i want you to be serious don't sit down and just look around and say ah who is going to receive let me clap for him no it's an insistence it's a desperation except you see miraculous signs you shall not believe luke chapter 5 we we'll read the first 11 verses that miracles can help to create solid convictions. Charles and Francis Hunter, powerful evangelists, they've gone to be with the Lord now. They wrote a book that a miracle is worth a thousand words. I believe them. I believe them. The world is tired of our noise and our stories. They want to see a demonstration and a manifestation of the reality of the life and the power of God. It says, and it came to pass as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God. He stood by the lake of Gennesaret. Next verse, please. And saw two sheep standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. Uh -huh. We're reading to 11. And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Next verse. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let your nets for a drought. Five. What happened? Simon answering said, Master, we have toiled all night. In other words, he said, Lord, look, you are not the first to pray for me. A man of God prayed for me in Zaria. Another man prayed in wherever. You know, so God is one of those things. You bless me. Oh yeah, do it. Master, we have toiled all night, not for a few hours, all night, night vigil, looking for a fish, and did not catch even one. It says, Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Six. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their neck seven. And they beckoned unto their partners which were in the other ship that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both ships. Miracles can create relationships. That you get a miracle 
and partners that were minding their business you can say come and join me who will not follow someone with results who will not let me tell you the bible talks about a wealthy man and um, how did he put it now a poor man that we even with much entreaties they will run away from him there are many people that come from where we come from and will pass us as if they don't know us because you represent shame and anything that looks like Ichabod, the departure of the glory, men will usually find a way to excuse it from. Ah, but the Bible says you will be called Beulah and Hephzibah, a delight. And they came and filled both ships so that they began to sing. Verse 8 when simon peter saw this look at this this is what miracles do he fell down at jesus's knees saying depart from me i'm a sinful man was a sermon preached a serious miracle happened and that miracle created conviction the same way some of you have been laughing at men of god sincerely and laughing at everything that has to do with the power of god and by the time we'll be sharing the grace tonight you will stand and go back quietly not talking to anybody and say i've seen today i heard with my ears like job but i've seen with my eyes that god is real and his power is real his grace is real nine for he was this is what led to the repentance he was so men can be astonished to repentance that they look at your life and say promise when did this happen when did god lift you was it not last year together we were discussing and you tell him there is a name god is called though, the lifter of men the lifter of men let me tell you my brothers and my sisters run away from anybody who tell you results don't matter they do they do out of the abundance of the evidence of the workings of god in your life the nations will bow to your god they will never bow to you just because you are talking man of god hear me no results you have mp pews there's there's no way around it there must be an evidence a serious evidence when john questioned the messiahship of Jesus he didn't answer with a statement he said go and tell John what you have seen the blind see the deaf hear the dead are raised and the gospel is preached to the meek and then he says blessed is he that is not offended so the moment there are no miracles the messiahship of the Christ is questioned John himself the one who ordained Jesus said go and ask him is he the messiah Miracles confirm that Jesus is the Messiah. God is not a herbalist. He's not a herbalist that is ahead of other herbalists. No. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. There are people who have names. Politicians have names. Businessmen have names. Captains of industry. Gatekeepers of mountains have names. But my brothers and my sisters, there is a name. It says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which we must be saved and it's in that name tonight that we will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness the miraculous manifests the glory of God and causes people to not only believe God but to trust God John chapter 2 and verse 11 the first miracle of Jesus what we call the miracle at the wedding of the Cana of Galilee he turned water to wine the Bible says this beginning of miracles this beginning of not this beginning of sermons not this beginning of discussions this beginning of miracles did jesus in cana of galilee and manifested forth his glory and the disciples believed on him believed on him we believe in the god that heals and saves and delivers that's why we kept the seats for you that's why we we knew you would come 
because the hand of God will bring you and we knew you would not be disappointed brothers and sisters there is a God in heaven God is not a herbalist don't let your pain demean him he is still the king of the universe the whole world lieth in wickedness Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good it takes the manifestation of the power of God to do good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him for God was with him for God was with him we're going to pray you have to convince yourself it's going to be a quick walk and we're going to cry to God and say Lord whatever I carried from my house whatever I carried from my place of work that I've brought before you it should not return back with me it should be clear and evident that I met the Lord Jesus Christ it should be clear and evident right where you are sitting you will soon stand up but right where you are sitting I like you to talk to the Lord please be serious and be desperate Lord I have come to you I've come to you I've come to you I've come to you my life must be changed my finances must be changed my destiny must be changed lord i've come to you as a pastor i've come to you as a prophet as an apostle there has to be greater oil upon my life lord i hear you are a restorer restore me online please make sure you are praying those outside make sure you are praying there is a God that answers prayer when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion it says we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the Lord had done great things for them it says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev turn again our captivity there is a God that can turn around the captivity of men pray doesn't matter where you are seated doesn't matter where you are connecting from the power of God is able to save to the uttermost father I'm praying that infirmity in my body must leave this night that financial situation must die this night that oppression that has kept my family down did the bible not say this is a victory that overcometh the world even our faith
God is a miracle worker. God is a glorious God. God is a miracle A glory shortly and I'll begin to minister by the Spirit your own assignment is to receive you have come let me tell you something there is enough grace to solve whatever challenge it is that has plagued you yours is to believe in the power of God it says if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God if you will believe you will see the glory of God. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. A lady, the power of God is going to come upon a lady outside. Please carry her and bring her now. There is a lady I'm seeing. I just saw light from in here. Write the power of God upon that lady. Please bring her. Please bring her. And then bring the someone on this row. I'm seeing like, like a smoke just going round. And it's like it's locating someone. The power of God is going to come on someone. Please pick the person and bring the person out. You reign. You reign. Hello. From outside I crush the hand of captivity over your life in the name of Jesus Christ I crush the hand of captivity over your family in the name of Jesus I saw a lot of oppression over the life of this lady and in the name of Jesus we silence the voice of wickedness we silence the voice of wickedness hold on please the Lord is showing me something right now. I saw this while I ministered in Abel Kuta. I started seeing snakes on the ground. Snakes on the ground. And that's what I'm seeing right now. And this is, this is the manifestation of a spirit. And there are many families that are under this yoke. Whether you believe it or not, just let me minister to you. I'm declaring right now, the power of God is going to start coming on people that represent those families. Bring them out. You are not shouting anything. You are not saying anything. Bring them out. I'm speaking by the Spirit. The Word of God has been declared. There are families. I'm seeing serpents, snakes, snakes. Inside and outside, bring them. Even the lawful captives 
shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered and the captives of the mighty by the fire of the Holy Spirit. I judge those spirits wherever you are represented in anyone here represented in anyone here i speak by the hand of god you reign, you reign. Hello, bring them out i'm still on that case the power of god is still locating people i'm still slaves Jesus, I'm still praying. We're not doing too many things tonight. We're going to the root of many people's challenges. I'm saying it again. There are still spirits, and I speak by the anointing of the Spirit of God. Wherever they are, overflow one, two, three, across the road. I'm declaring judgment, judgment upon those spirits. The fire of God is coming upon you right now. Whether you are standing for yourself or for your family, bring them out. There is no escape for when his voice comes, they come out from their hiding place. Listen, there are people, I'm seeing something that looks like a knife being inserted in people. And I'm seeing people beginning to run. Just run. When you see people doing that, hold them and bring them. The Lord is bringing deliverance. That one is not speed. This one is not the prayer for speed. I'm just telling you as the Lord is showing me. Right now I decree and declare. I don't know those that the Lord is cutting them free from every kind of diabolism but I stretch my hands by the spirit I command judgment on every force judgment on every power in the name of Jesus Christ the hand of God is coming upon them you will begin to see them run around just running it's, it's, it's not a, a making of their own it's by the power of the Holy Ghost bring them out an instruction right now. Now we are ready to shout. Listen. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing what looks like a grave. And the Lord is saying he's delivering families from the power of the grave. In the name of Jesus Christ and at the count of three, any family, whether territorially or by whatever connection is tied to the spirit of the grave, I'm declaring at the count of three as you shout Jesus 
the power of God is setting you free. One, two, three. The spirit of the grave, the spirit of the grave, the spirit of the grave, I cost you by the God of heaven. The spirit of the grave, I cost you by the God of heaven. Just follow me this night. Now, I'm praying for all those in front. They came out because the Lord showed something. I declare by the power of God that the legal access of darkness over your life is broken and at the count of three, I speak to these spirits. Release everything you have taken from these families. One, two, go, go, go. Out of their lives, out of their destinies. Out of their lives, out of their destinies. I command a release. I command a release. I command a release. Release breakthroughs. Release open doors. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Please just pay attention and let God help you. You came here tonight to receive. Listen to me. The Lord is ministering to me. That there are people you dare not go to bed. Someone must come in your sleep and try to sleep with you. Or it may happen once in a while. This is a strange oppression of darkness. And I declare, I'm praying right now. I'm seeing fire all over this place. Because there are many people. That is the root cause of many oppressions in your life. At the count of three, you will shout that name again. That is above every other name. And some of you will feel something leaving you immediately. I declare that all these spirits that molest the saints and manipulate dreams and visions, at the count of three, let there be emancipation. One, two, get ready. Three. I command those spirits, go now. Strangers of the night. Strangers of the night. Help that gentleman. Strangers of the night. Bring them out. Strangers of the night. I curse you by the God of heaven. Molesting the saints. Planting sicknesses in their bodies. Hello, Kim Madonna. a certain family here I'm seeing that they tied the family to the covenant of a stone something that has to do with a stone I don't know what that means and in what tribe but I'm seeing a covenant that has to do with being tied to a stone I don't know if it's for protection or for whatever but in the name of Jesus I'm praying right now by the power of the Holy Spirit that any fraternity with the elements of Christ let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Help them, please. Let it be broken now in the name of Jesus. Fraternities with stones and elements and strange fires of the night. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. The mysteries behind the strange hardship of people. The mysteries behind the oppression of people. Oppression of families. Doors, doors are opening. 
That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Doors. Doors. Some of you will feel fire on your hands. Fire on your hands. Doors are opening. Two leaf gates in the spirit. Fire on your hand. You will know by the fire that comes to your hand. I'm seeing fire coming on people's hands. That's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Doors opening. You must testify. Doors opening. Doors opening. Doors opening. Age long doors. Age long doors that have been closed for many years. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord stand just at the back of this young man. Please shift, my friend. These four ladies, one, two, three, four. I'm seeing an anointing on you people. One, two, three, four. I don't know what it is that God is taking out, but I'm seeing like chains being taken from your feet. Chains being removed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I saw an angel stand there. Chains being taken up from your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. Chains being taken from off your feet. Listen, let me explain something to you. This is not just some disorganized jamboree. God is turning the destinies of men up. You will see people return with testimonies because there are forces. Emmanuel. I'm hearing the name Emmanuel. Who is that? Emmanuel. Please don't make the place rowdy. Emmanuel. We're going to pray for the sick now. There are four of you I'm seeing here. You have the call of God upon your life. But there are strange altars that are holding you down. In the name of Jesus, I lose you now. I lose you by the force of the spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I lose you. I release your ministry. Hear me. I'm speaking by the spirit. I lose you. I release your ministry. I stand by this apostolic anointing. I lose you. If I be called of God, I lose you. I lose you from these forces. I lose you from these yokes. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are men that can be alive, let me tell you, but they are dead in the spirit. Emmanuel, I'm praying. We don't have time to minister individuals, individually, but I'm praying for you. The Lord is breaking delay from four of the families with Emmanuel. No, no, once I mention your case, the power of God is coming upon you. You will know it's your case. I stretch my hands now among the Emmanuels and the people delay, delay, delay. There is an anointing coming now. It's crushing that spirit. Just because I'm praying for Emmanuel does not mean it will not come upon you. In the name of Jesus, delay, delay. God is visiting delay. Broken by the spirit of God. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. He came to set the captives free. To set the captives free. Hold on. This young lady, lift your hands. This, this, yes, you. Lift your hands. I'm stretching my hands towards you. I don't know what it is that I saw, but I saw something like smoke. The other one, the smaller one with white. Yes. I just saw something like smoke coming out of you. And the Lord is saying this is oppression for many years. 
that has something to do with your abdominal region in the name of Jesus Christ I declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let that oppression go let it leave you let it go let it leave you right now in the name of Jesus there is a woman now I'm going to pray for people generally but I don't know how we will do this there is a barren woman in overflow three barren woman trusting God for the fruit of the womb please if if you can allow the woman to run and come God is instructing me to lay my hands on her because it's time for her to carry her child overflow three please let her run and come <laughs> Who is Maureen? Maureen. I'm hearing a name, Maureen. 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 What is your name? Lift your hands. Where are you from? Shout Jesus loud as you can. Jesus! Let the power of witchcraft over your life be broken. My dear, look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus. Jesus! I crush that spirit right now in the name of Jesus. And the man you see in your dream, in the name of Jesus, may you never see that man again. Please make sure you, they don't, why is mama here? Is she Maureen? This woman, I, I'll pray for you. That woman, come, madam. Is that your daughter? Come, madam. Where are you coming from, ma? Let her come. Sir? Where are you coming from? I'm from area C. Area I'm C. No, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. Mama, you are a sincere woman. But if I did not pray for you, huh? It's a bike that will kill you from the market in an accident. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this woman with a leather of potato and a bike man just comes to jam her together with a truck and they just say survive by that the woman is dead. I'm not a prophet of doom, mama. Please don't be afraid. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. I extend your life by the power of the Holy Spirit that the plague of death. See, let me prophesy upon someone here anyone here that the hand of death is upon you to see that you will not see the end of this year i'm praying by the spirit now i'm praying by the spirit and in the name of jesus anyone that the spirit of death is haunting anyone being haunted by the spirit of death i command that it is crushed now in jesus name what is your name my dear Maury, come. You will look at a beautiful lady like this. But in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a human being but no face. No face like this. I'm just seeing a blank face like this. Let me tell you what this means. It's a yoke of bad luck. That people stand and cannot bless you. You have what it takes to be blessed and rewarded. The lady on yellow, lift your hands. There's the call of God upon your life. There is a prophetic grace that is upon you. And the Lord is saying you are stepping into it right now. I stretch my hands to you. Right now in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bring you into that grace. I'm still praying for her. In the name of Jesus I declare. I'm seeing fire coming upon you right now. And that fire will unlock a dimension of the prophetic. In the name of Jesus Christ. bad luck listen I'm going to hold her but a different person is the one that will receive before I pray for her this is just allow me do my my mad thing hold my hand in the name of Jesus I'm not praying for her I'm praying for someone now by the Spirit of the Lord but the Lord is saying I should hold her 
as I pray for the person. Lord, in the name of Jesus, this yoke of bad luck, I'm speaking now. Please help them. This yoke of bad luck, by the power of the Holy Spirit, where good things don't seem to happen to you, in the name of Jesus, let it be broken now. 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 Now let me pray for you. Be free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I take away this that I'm seeing. And in the name of Jesus, you have an identity in the Spirit that brings honor, that brings grace and dignity. In Jesus' name I pray. Where are these ones? We're going to pray for the sick. Your name is Maureen. Are you married? You are married? Yes, sir. But you don't have a child? Yes, sir. From Overflow 3? Yes, sir. Where's your husband? He's not here. He's not, but you are married? Yes, sir. Come and stand here and watch the God of wonders. I don't know you. Madam? From Overflow 3? You are from Overflow 3. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Why did you come? Your name is Maureen. What do you do, madam? Hold on. I'm a businesswoman. You're a businesswoman. Where? I used to sell at uh, young, um, Random Kanu. But right now, the business is... Do you know why I'm asking you? No. I must pray for you. Because this thing is not only you. There is nobody doing well in your family. Your entire family. This is what I'm seeing. It's a spirit. Huh? except you open up something and miss even physical money used to get missing from you you will keep money and count it and found find out that it's not what you kept yeah. is that true if i'm lying just say i'm lying where are you from I'm from Enugu. anambra state i'm seeing the map of nigeria and i'm seeing the state anambra i'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state now I'm seeing deliverance coming for people from that state. Anyone, usually when God shows me this, anybody who is from that state connected by blood, the power of God begins to come upon them to bring deliverance. It's a sign and a wonder. I'm declaring right now in the name of Jesus that anyone who is from that state and that region and there is any force and yoke that is fighting you, be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Please help them. Be free in the name of Jesus. Anambra State, be free in the name of Jesus. I'm still seeing the map in my vision. Be free in the name of Jesus. My friend, that young man holding his hands, shout Jesus from where you are. The yoke is broken. I cast it out of your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Look at me. You insulted a woman some years ago and the woman told you it will not be well with you. It was like a joke. Truly the thing followed you. This is what God is showing me. Now, I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know if it, the woman annoyed you or what is it. You insulted the woman and she stood and told you that it would not be well. Because what you were saying about her was not what she did. Hold my hands. The Bible says, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, the scourging tongues of men. The scourging tongues of men. Except you know where you stand. A curse, causeless, shall not stand. But if there is a cause, it will stand, though. It will stand. Are we together now? I will pray. Where are your siblings, madam? Hi. This woman, no. Oh. You are not here alone. Where are the rest? Call them. Just stand where you call. What is their name? AGK. Quickly, please. And Victor. AGK, come. And, and who? Victor. That is and Victor. Son. Victor is not your brother. Victor is a small my boy. Son, yes. Where is he? Let him come. Because I'm seeing the boy. You are saying Victor is a little boy. Ah, uh, Are you married? Yes. You have a son? Yes. Your son's name too is Victor. 
Yes, he's the one I'm calling. Is the boy that you're talking yes. about? You said your brother. No, HK is my brother. Then Let the boy come. Himself. As young as that boy is too, if I don't pray for him, he will start stealing. Eh? There are two boys, small boys, that will be delivered from this spirit. No matter where you keep anything, they must steal it. We are not condemning people. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. God is delivering people. To the pure, all things are pure. Nobody is calling any family a bad family. But this is a place where God is visiting people. Where is the person, please? Come, celebrate him as he comes. You're welcome, sir. I will pray for you. God is going to turn your family around. This is the little boy. My friend, how are you? Come. How old are you? 11 years old. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I will pray for you. How can a nice boy like this and the next thing start picking things? Do you know? Let me tell you. These small children that steal are not thieves. It's just that either by carelessness or lack of discernment, it was not dealt with because most of what they steal, they don't need it. That's how you know it's a spirit. Are we together? Yes. That's why it's important that parents lay hands on their children and speak and prophesy. Don't assume they will be spiritual by default. My friend, let me pray for you. Father, thank you for this adorable young man. And this guy has a great destiny. You see this boy? I'm looking at a star rising as I'm laying my hands on him. This is what the Lord is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. You will be a great man by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hold this woman. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, what do you do? A medical sales representative. You are a medical sales representative. Medical sales representative. Can I pray for you? Yes. You are a sincere person, eh? but this thing, they are just forces that want to destroy your family. I will pray for you. Eh? April, May, June. It will look like you held a charm. The way God will turn your life around. You believe it? In the name of Jesus, may that grace come upon you. Madam, come. The power of God is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare this thing that I'm seeing tied to your waist. I lose it right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, be set free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are the one trusting God for a child? Come. How long have you been married? Three years. Three years. Yes. No child. You too? Are you married? Five years. Four Five months. years, four months. Yes. No child. No child. Doctor said after two surgeries, they said my husband cannot impregnate me. He did surgery twice. Don't cry. Jesus is here. Huh? You went through two surgeries. Where is your husband? He's at home. He's at home. Don't cry. Where are you from? Where are you coming from? Graceland. You see, th these are the things that sometimes worry my spirit. Imagine the kind of trouble that this family will go through. Sometimes we take some things for granted. Imagine the advices. Someone now will recommend and say, go to a herbalist. Go and do this. And don't cry, my sister. Two surgeries you went through. Mm. My head. Now, I'm seeing something being removed from your stomach. Look at what is happening to her. Yes, she went through two surgeries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that spirit that says your husband cannot impregnate you. In the name of Jesus, I set you free now. Madam, I set you free now. I'm praying for the rest, but I set you free now. Hold my hands. Come. In the name of Jesus. I declare supernatural miracle for you now release this woman now as I'm praying for you I'm praying for your husband wherever he is according to the time of life may you return with your miracle children it's over in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God 
My dear, let me. Why is this woman here? You are married to madam? No child? How long? Four years and um, five months. Four years, five months. Where are you coming from? Jigawa State. From Jigawa State. Please come. Oh dear. All walk, 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 turning streets around. All walk, walk, God is dealing with these issues because he has declared that it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Is fruitfulness from any dimension. Any dimension. Look at this woman. Look at these women crying. I may never understand what it means for a woman to not be able to take in. I think it's the equivalent of a man not be able to provide for his family. That you come back home and watch your wife and children and they say that they were hungry and you are clueless about where bread will come from. My sister, please don't cry. Who brought you here? You came alone? Sarah. Huh? Sarah. Oh dear. Put your hand on your stomach. Is she a Christian? She's, she's a Christian? Yes. Okay. It doesn't matter whether you are a Muslim or Christian. The Lord, everybody the Lord healed in the Old Testament. He healed them and gave them an opportunity to hand their lives over. You just act like this just to show honor and respect people. I will pray for you. There is a name that is above every other name. And in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon your womb. And I declare the embargo of barrenness, five years barrenness. Let it be broken right now. Look at this. Let it be broken right now. I'm seeing something being loose from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. And then I'm seeing you coughing. You are now beginning to cough. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know what it is that I'm seeing. But I'm seeing something come out of you. And you are coughing. Coughing something out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be gone now. Let it be gone forever. Let it be gone forever. Let it be gone forever. My dear, put your hand on your stomach. What's your name? blessing where's your husband he's not here he's not here father in the name of jesus i don't care what the medical report is we agree as a family of faith that these are dear sister carries her miracle child now i decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now I correct it by the power. Ah, I'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. You will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a... Look at what is happening to her. A correction, a correction of whatever is wrong. In the name of Jesus. Why are they here? Fruit of the womb. Uh, we are not praying at random. We will pray. Madam, I will pray for you. Where are you coming from? Huh? Nasarawa State. Nasarawa State. Are you alone? No, I mean. You me. came with who? Only me. Only you. Come. Just the woman. I will pray for her. We have to pray for the sick. But how many of you have seen what God is doing here? Listen, you see, if you love the Lord and you see God attacking. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord just showed me something now. I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire. And the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now, there be freedom now. I'm seeing a family of one two three four five six graduates nobody's employed six graduates 
you are all graduates nobody has a job who is that person six graduates please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out six graduates no job not one person has a job i want to pray for you you're the one for the fruit of the womb huh i have to pray for you i'm seeing something in your stomach have you gone to the hospital you've spoken with a doctor don't be embarrassed i'm seeing something growing in your stomach and this is not a baby i will pray for you because if i don't pray for you you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the lord is showing me and i'm going to pray for you where are you coming from madam kano kano is your husband here is your husband here yes where is he husband sir please come there's that something the lord wants to do in your family don't worry he's, he's here he's coming thank you sir thank you for coming god bless you i want to pray for you you came from kano too you came from kano too sir i'm going to pray for you thing come out of you opportunity to hand their lives opportunity to hand their lives over you just act like this just to show honor and respect people i will pray for you there is a name that is above every other name and in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon your womb and i declare the embargo of barrenness five years barrenness let it be broken right now look at this let it be broken right now i'm seeing something being loose from your stomach this is what i'm seeing and then i'm seeing you coughing you are now beginning to cough this is what i'm seeing i don't know what it is that i'm seeing but i'm seeing something come out of you and you are coughing coughing something out in the name of jesus christ let it be gone now let it be gone forever let it be gone forever let it be gone forever my dear put your hand on your stomach what's your name blessing, blessing. where's your husband he's not here he's not here father in the name of jesus i don't care what the medical report is we agree as a family of faith that this our dear sister carries her miracle child now i decree and declare according to the time of life return with your child whatever needs to be corrected in this body now i correct it by the power ah, i'm seeing something like fire burning already on your stomach this is what i'm saying you will feel it now physically like fire on your stomach in the name of jesus christ let there be a look at what is happening to her a correction a correction of whatever is wrong in the name of jesus why are they here fruit of the womb uh, we're not praying at random we'll pray madam i will pray for you where are you coming from huh nasarawa state nasarawa state are you alone no I mean you me. came with who only me only you come just the woman i will pray for her we have to pray for the sick but how many of you have seen what god is doing here listen you see if you love the lord and you see god attacking In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord just showed me something now I'm seeing the head of a human being on top of something that looks like a shrine on fire and the Lord is telling me that this is one of the mysteries behind the captivity of many people I decree in the name of Jesus Christ father whatever has had to do with blood that is responsible for the bewitchment and the plague that comes upon people in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now, there be freedom now. I'm seeing a family of one two three four five six graduates nobody's employed six graduates you are all graduates nobody has a job who is that person six graduates please listen to the instruction so that you don't just jump out six graduates no job not one person has a job 
I want to pray for you. You're the one for the fruit of the womb? Huh? I have to pray for you. I'm seeing something in your stomach. Have you gone to the hospital? You've spoken with a doctor? Don't be embarrassed. I'm seeing something growing in your stomach. And this is not a baby. I will pray for you because if I don't pray for you, you will have to go through serious surgery to even allow the baby stay based on what the Lord is showing me. And I'm going to pray for you. Where are you coming from, madam? Kano. Kano. Is your husband here? Is your husband here? Yes. Where is he? Husband, sir, please come. There's Daddy something the Lord wants to do in your family. Don't worry, he's, he's here, he's coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. God bless you. I want to pray for you. You came from Kano too? You came from Kano too, sir? I'm going to pray for you. Number one, God is going to give you the fruit of the womb. Number two, God is restoring your finances. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. God is restoring your finances. Amen. This is a serious issue. As you are here coming now, the financial trouble you are into is only God that can bring you out. Amen. Is that true? God is going to help you. Madam, put your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, why are they here? Six graduates, no job. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, by your mercy and by your grace, let there be a sign and a wonder in the life of this woman. Just keep her down. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, everything that is wrong be corrected now. In the name of Jesus, sir, please can you hold my hands? In the name of Jesus, I speak over your finances. There is a grace that can restore, and I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, let me talk to you, and then we'll pray for the sick. You are the, both of you, where are you coming from? You are here in Zaria? Yes. And you are, yes, I know your face. Six graduates, no job. Yes, sir. Including you? Yes, sir. Come. No. But there are Can six people. Now? Yes. But there's no job for yes, them. Yes, sir. Can we agree that God will give them a job? Yes, sir. And you too? Yes, Let's pray. Come. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, there is an anointing that is coming upon you, eh? and is for the sake of your family in the name that is above all names i release this grace upon you and i pray let the embargo of joblessness be broken now even on both of you i use you as a point of contact to pray now something is leaving this lady's hand you something is leaving your hand i cost that yoke now in the name of jesus your hand is a symbol of your productivity and I declare in the name of Jesus, let there be liberty. Liberty for all of you. Liberty. I open the doors of jobs. In Jesus' name I pray. Why is he here? You are a graduate? Six. Six. From where, please? From Abuja. Abuja? SOM, yes. You are a, st a school of ministry yes. student? School of ministry student. Madam, let me talk to you. Where are you coming from? Natsarawa State. Yes, sir. Are you married? Bring the person that begins to laugh in the spirit. The hand of God is coming upon someone. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory will not depart from the tents of the righteous. Please bring the person. Let's save time. Father, I establish this victory over this lady's life. The oppression over your life and your family is broken now and broken forever. Broken now and broken forever. We don't have time, our time is gone. But the Lord is showing me a very serious vision of a lady that entered a relationship with a gentleman and left him and the guy vowed. I'm seeing this guy carry, not you now, I'm seeing this guy carry a photo and taking it to a herbalist in Kaduna State. Hello, Kim Matona. I declare that 
that anyone under this grace whose name has been taken for any diabolic activity I stand by the hand of God whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now whoever took it there judgment comes on them now Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. I'm still praying. Whoever took it there, judgment comes on them now. This is what the Lord showed me. Carry the name of the lady and kept it there. That number one, no decent man will ever come and ask her out. And number two, she will never give birth. This is what I'm seeing. Who shall say a thing and it will come to pass? That when God has not declared it so. I reverse every pronouncement over anyone here in the name of Jesus. I want to pray a prayer. Please forgive me for tonight's miracle service. The way God is taking us. I want to pray. Shade and doctor, please come. The Lord wants to end an old issue in your family. Please come. This is what the Lord is showing me. This thing I'm seeing is as old as more than 60, 70 years. The Lord is opening my eyes to see now. Please, I want to pray for you. Those under the anointing, help them. Please, I'm just using two of you as a point of contact. But I'm seeing a spirit. This is an ancient spirit. The way this thing works is that men rise. The moment they get to the zenith of anything they are doing, they must die. This is the spirit I'm seeing. Please listen. I'm not... I'm just using them and I'm ministering the way God is showing me. These are not the only families with this thing, but the Lord is saying I should deal with it now. Provided you have not gotten to the pinnacle, you no death will touch you. But the moment you touch that bar, you are going down. And the Lord wants to destroy it. Because God is using both of you to start a new program in the family. I will follow the lion. I will follow the lamb. I will follow the lion. I will follow the lamb. I believe in the lion. I believe in the lamb. Bring that little girl, as small as that girl you see is. This girl you are seeing is a deliverer of her family. As small as you are seeing this, this little girl. Because this girl stands as an altar of righteousness over her family. And as small as she is, the devil wants to kill her. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, I use this, my dear daughter, as a point of contact. That everything that is not the planting of God, I scatter it now in the name of Jesus. May God use this, our precious daughter, and truly may she be the deliverer of our family. In the name of Jesus. A lady is going to start running because I'm about to pray over a spirit that is in her family. And that spirit is going to start driving her to run away. So I'm telling you in advance, you are going to see the person stand up to start running away. It's, it's not even this lady I'm talking about. This is somebody in the crowd. You will not even, you will not be in control of yourself. It's a spirit because I'm about to rebuke it right now. Hmm. Father, I thank you for the Bonire family and by extension, the various families. The altar that sits upon this family. Even the lawful captives, Kemaratol Zakata, shall be delivered 
even the lawful captives. I break that yoke now. I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood. That ancient yoke that brings down great men over this family be broken. I open up the door of increase. Rise to the senate of your profession. I forbid the spirit of death once and for all. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, an issue that is age long. Let me tell you this. A mighty deliverance has happened to this family. This thing I'm telling you, fought their grandparents, fought their parents. And if not delivered now, will still fight them. If there's anyone here that this same spirit works in your family, you rise to a position and crash down. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, let fire land upon such individuals and scatter that altar, scatter that altar forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. It took words to establish the covenant that brought this family in trouble. Now I declare to you, a new order starts in your lineage. A new order starts in your family. Where children live long and they become successful. And that every embargo of witchcraft, once and for all, is broken in the name of Jesus. Madam, I can pray for you now. Where did you say you are from? Nasarawa just, just keep her somewhere there or bring a chair and keep her. You are not from Nasarawa State. You stay in Nasarawa yes, State. Where are you from? Ebony State. Ebony State. Ebony State. I want to pray for you. Am I wasting your time, please? One encounter with the power of God is enough to turn your life around. My friend, this man wearing um, you. Yes. Did you come alone? Who did you come with? Where is your wife? Come. It's time for God to change your life. Stand up, stand up. Please stand up, stand up. Where are you coming from? From campus, yes, sir. You are from campus, yes, here. sir. What do you do? I'm a lecturer in the university. You're a lecturer? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Ah. Sir, you are not supposed to be at this level now. You are a very brilliant man. You, but there, you are intelligent. I don't know you, all, you but sir. you are a brilliant man. It Thank even you, took grace for you to be given a lecturing job. Yes, sir. It's because there is no way they could deny you. Yes, sir. You were too exceptional. Yes, sir. And you are supposed to be abroad now. Yes, I don't know what has kept yes, you down. Sir. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. You are not supposed to be here. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. somebody carried your issue and put it under the table. You see, you see what we are talking about that you carry a man's destiny see let me say it i'm praying to you from my heart that in the name of jesus whatever belongs to you and has been hijacked by the wicked hearts of men it must be released this night it must be released this night sir please stand up what's your department Political science, can I pray for you? Yes, sir. You will know that there is a God in heaven. Amen. What do you do, my dear? I'm not doing anything. You are not doing anything? No, sir. Ah, I have to pray for you. Yes, sir. Ah, that trip abroad, you must go. Amen. Amen. Because there is an honor and there is a professor that God has destined that you will meet. Amen. And I'm going to pray. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, sir, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I release you. And I release your destiny. Amen. Both for you and your wife. Amen. I decree and declare. Scale new heights in your profession. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number two. There is a friend in your life. And the Lord is telling me to tell you to be careful. There is a friend in your life. Be careful. I won't say more than that. Be careful. 
what God has joined, let no man put asunder. I'll stop there. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you in Jesus' name. Madam, you have been here for a while. Let's pray. What are you trusting God for? For marriage. Who came from Joss? Joss. Joss. Where did you come from? Madam, where did you come from? Focus. Huh? Focus. From Joss. Not state of origin where you came from, that you left it and came. Huh? I want to pray for you. What do you do? I, I, I'm a secretary. You are what? I'm a secretary. You are a secretary? Yes, sir. Come, let me pray for you. I... One of these days, we'll just trust God and do a night vigil. Honestly, so that we can deal with this issue seriously. You may think that time is being wasted until you see what God is turning around in your life. All these people came from Joss? Madam, say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I will not have what they call that pregnancy that they'll have to do. Um, no, bridge is bridge or something like that. This is what I'm saying. I'm not pregnant. Hold on. Let me pray for you. Come. You are sick. It looks like pregnancy. Like it's breached. This is what I'm saying. The pregnancy that looks like it's that will open you up and carry something out. Where are you coming from? Josh. What did they say is wrong with you? Um, multiple fibrosis. No. A man, don't feel embarrassed. Can I talk to you? A man used to come in a dream huh? yes, and sleep with you. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. That's what brought this pregnancy. I'm a man of God. Don't be af afraid. You, you heard the story I told you now. Yes, sir. Madam, if I'm lying, look at me before the whole world and say I'm a liar. That you go to bed and a man comes and all of a sudden this started coming. Of course, medically you would think that, okay, you check it. There is nothing there. Yet the pregnancy will not go. How long has this thing been? Three years. Three years. Ah. Don't cry. Don't cry. Who did you come with? <laughs> May this place remain a place of solutions. <laughs> Was it not the fallen angels that met with the daughters of men? And they became pregnant physically and had strange go and listen to my teaching the mystery of the serpent and the woman my sister can I pray for you you believe in Jesus look at this adorable lady look at imagine a woman carrying this for three years is that pregnancy a, does a human being stay three years in the stomach are you married of course, imagine what this, this means to her marital life. Put your hand there. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this. Look at what is happening to the woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that every seed that has not been planted by God, let it be uprooted in this body. Is it not written that every tree that has not been planted by my father, it must be uprooted? I uproot this right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I uproot this right now. In the name of Jesus. By a strange mystery, may this thing begin to go down and disappear from this woman's body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just keep her down there. Madam, let me pray for you. What do you want the Lord to do for you? I'm believing him for a life partner. Life partner. Do you believe God can give you a life partner? Yes, sir. Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. You are born again. Yes. Father, the Bible says male and female, he created them. She's not embarrassed. She's standing sincerely and telling you that I came so that God will bless me with a life partner. I lay my hands upon you and I decree and declare 
may God bring a responsible man to your life. Amen. You will not marry a man that will make your yesterday better than your tomorrow. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare it so. And for all these people standing, I pray for them. May the Lord himself bring miracles over their life. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. I may not have time to minister to all of you one by one. Please forgive me. Huh? Coincidentally, I'm going to just tomorrow. I'll be in just Saturday, Sunday. I'm ministering in a conference. I'm excited. I'll be in House on the Rock at Rayfield. Saturday and Sunday. I'm in just. But let me pray for you. All of you who came all the way. My dear, look at me. You love Jesus? Yes, sir. With all your heart? Yes, sir. I drive the boy that the devil wants to bring to your life. Say amen. Amen. You, you may not understand what I'm saying, but let me repeat myself. I drive, I didn't say God drove him. In the name of Jesus Christ, as one who loves you, eh? I drive any irresponsible boy that is coming in the name of prayer warrior to destroy your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I'm amen. not looking down. It is God's will that all men be saved. But then I'm telling you that in the name of Jesus Christ, everything that would destroy your destiny, let it be far from you. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. For all of you, I may not know why you came, but let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. In the name, just believe what I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, return with your testimonies. God bless you. Please go back to your seat, my God. Can we still pray for the sick? How many of you are trusting God for healing? Let me see your hands out there. Okay, this is what is going to happen. It's okay, I'm, I'm going to pray for you. you. You came, you brought them. Okay, I'm going to pray for you now. You just relax. Now, please, because of time, those under the anointing, just leave them if there's no... Usher, hold on. A lady usher, place your hand on that girl. Any lady usher. Release her now. Out! In the name of Jesus. Let it come to an end now and forever. Release her destiny. Release her family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be restoration. Let there be testimonies. Please, this is how we are going to do it. Because our time is already gone. We are going to do three things at the same time. Please listen. Number one, you are going to be submitting your prayer requests. Number two, those who are trusting God for healing in the various overflows. Please, aside from those that I prayed for for barrenness, if your reason of coming here is barrenness, whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I want you to come to overflow one. I want to pray for you myself. Aside from that, please, you are trusting God for a healing miracle. I want you to move to your various overflows. So those at overflow one, move to the front of your projector stand. Overflow two, the same thing. Overflow three, the same thing. Those by the roadside, the roadside down to second equa join overflow two you can join overflow two please ushers protocol pr department coordinate yourself to help them please so that the people know what they are doing praise the lord those in here you can come you can come the lord bless you now there are going to be men and women of god scattered across these various places we are ministering under a corporate anointing. Make sure you are standing for healing, please. Make sure you are standing for healing. No, no, no. Those for fruit of the womb, come in, please. The main auditorium. I want to lay hands on you by myself. It doesn't matter what overflow you are. If it is fruit of the womb, please come. The main auditorium. I want to pray for you. Now, please listen. Just a touch is enough you don't have to start explaining and telling the men of god this is a problem sometimes god can give them words if they don't don't worry just a touch 
and you will go back. I want you to believe this. That's why you came. Are we together? While that is happening, if you have your prayer request here, you can just wave it and pass it. Let there be an usher. Okay, um, peace is here. You can pass it. Let there be an usher or somebody. Please, um, the various departments, coordinate yourself so that you are collecting this. Let's make it fast. Those online, um, you can use our social media platforms to submit your requests. And we're going to pray on it right now. Please, quickly, quickly. A Jimmy and a Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one. A Jimmy and promise will go to overflow one. Um, Pastor Alpha and Benga will go to overflow three. Overflow three. Pastor Femi and Kenny. And Ima go to overflow two. Also extend to those by the roadside. Extend to those by the roadside. Did you get? Let me pray for you, Pastor Lawrence. Come. I will pray for you, and then you will join those at overflow three. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the anointing, let the grace of the Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, please, worship team, you give us songs of the Spirit while we are ministering. And as soon as hands are laid on you, you can go back rejoicing. Those who are seated, don't be careless, be praying in the Spirit. Because God is solving people's problems while you gather the prayer requests. If you are yet to submit yours, just wave it and there will be someone to reach you. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare that within the next 10 or so minutes that we have, do a quick walk in the life of your people. In the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk in the life of your people. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone will fall under the anointing here. Once that happens, the power of God will start moving to heal. Right here, those in front here. Okay, so I can start praying now. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Praise the Lord. Please, everyone stand. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Whether you are inside or outside, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the next dimension of my life opens up now. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Please begin to pray.
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I like you to begin to declare that every request you have written here that by the grace of God this will be the last time you have to visit this issue please pray please pray our time is gone but let's make use of the time stretch your hands here and begin to decree and declare that in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God every request that I've written here by the God of heaven let this be the last time may the Lord arise and solve impossible situations arise in the name of Jesus are you praying father that these Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever the requests of those localized here and those who have posted their requests on our social media platforms we declare intervention we declare breakthrough we declare increase hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ we declare and we agree as a family of faith that this request will turn into testimonies in your life we declare that this requests turn into supernatural testimonies the same way I am standing upon them, I decree you stand upon every situation that is represented here in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that they are still praying for a few people, but let me just pray the final prophetic blessing on you because our time is gone. It says, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. I decree and declare, every economic hardship that is bringing the saints to their knees and causing them to compromise, I declare that you are exempted from it now. Every prayerlessness represented in this place that the grace to pray seems to have gone down in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar anybody introduced by the devil into your life or your circle to destroy you I sever you from them right now in Jesus name I speak favor over your life and I declare in the name of Jesus walk in favor 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 therefore God has exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name it says that at the mention of that name every knee must bow I declare whatever must bow in your life from tonight let it bow right now let me pray for you finally and especially for those of us who are not within this city if you traveled far and came I'm praying for you now in the name that is above all names to all our visitors and all those who connect with us from far that includes those from our social media platforms I decree and declare 
whatever the issue of concern is that brought you here return with the answers now return with the answers now you will not need to tell people you came here there will be the radiance and the glory of the spirit upon your life I declare that every door that has refused to open even as the Lord kept revealing here I enforce it and we call that door open now the new month is the fourth month of the year the number four stands for balance that means that whatever is left that must be shown in your life you are blessed here but not yet blessed here you are blessed here but not yet blessed here I declare completion for you now in the name of Jesus Christ hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you